Chapter 21 Assessment Translator Born to be within a refining room, over a dozen alchemists were sitting in a circle and staring at a youth. These alchemists were no longer young. Most of them were already over 40 years old, and even the youngest was in his 30s. For a 15-year-old youngster to now claim that he wanted to refine pills, all of them were stunned and had trouble believing it. Some of them were even shaking their heads in ridicule and sighed. But they were all smart people and had all long since heard that Grandmaster Yun Ki had made an exception and given a youth a pill apprentice tablet. Although they didn't know if that rumor was true, none of them were foolish enough to display their contempt. Long Chen, although I am the chairman of the guild, even I cannot break the customs. If you want to get medicinal ingredients on credit, you have to refine a pill in front of all these alchemists. We will then use the refined pill's quality to decide how much you can take on credit, explained Grandmaster Yun Ki solemnly. This little one understands. Long Chen understood that this was the alchemist guild and wasn't owned by anyone. Moreover, with Grandmaster Yun Ki's manner of doing things, there was no way he would give him preferential treatment that went against the rules. There are 187 types of first-tier medicinal pill formulas here. You can randomly pick one. One of the alchemists brought over a paper. Within his eyes was some hidden anticipation for Long Chen's failure. All the pill formulas on the page he had brought over were not just ordinary first-tier pills. Their difficulties were all above average, and ordinary pill apprentices would not have a high success rate with them. Moreover, in a situation where all the alchemists were there watching you, in addition to Grandmaster Yun Ki himself, it wouldn't be strange for someone to become nervous. In such an atmosphere, trying to refine a successful medicinal pill was extremely difficult. The person who handed Long Chen that page was also just a pill apprentice. He was already over 40 years old now. Back when he had been attempting to pass the alchemist test, he had failed 17 times before passing. Everyone else present was all on the same level as him. All of them had used over 10 attempts before passing. It could be seen that to be able to get medicinal ingredients in advance from the guild was not an easy task. But if you succeeded, it would become much more convenient for you in the future. Long Chen read through the entire page and pointed to the last pill formula. That one. What? You're sure? That person's expression became a bit strange. That pill formula was for the key eruption pill. It was an exceptionally domineering pill formula. For a short time, it allowed someone to explode with almost three times the amount of battle power. The key eruption pill was something which adventurers were very fond of. Although using it would cause someone to enter a weak state after its effect wore off, it didn't leave behind a permanent sequela. To people who spent all their days fighting magical beasts, the key eruption pill was definitely a life-saving treasure. But refining it was extremely difficult. There were several ingredients which possessed tyrannical medicinal energy. Even amongst experienced pill apprentices, there were extremely few who would refine it. After all, refining pills were not without risk. Although medicinal pills could be sold for high prices, their ingredients were not nothing. Medicinal ingredients also cost money. The ingredients for the key eruption pill were extremely expensive. If you were unable to successfully refine it within three attempts, you would end up losing money. Therefore, there were few people who refined this pill. Too high of a price was also something adventurers were unable to afford. After all, if they had so much money, who would risk their life adventuring into dangerous places for treasures? Yes, I picked that one, calmly said Long Chen. He didn't seem to bother at all with the anticipation in that person's eyes. Grandmaster Yun Ki smiled slightly. He got a child messenger to go and get three sets of medicinal ingredients. This was the rule. You would only have three portions and as long as you succeeded once, it would be considered passing. Once all the ingredients were placed neatly in front of Long Chen, he didn't have any hesitation. Taking out his pill furnace, a weak yellow flame arose from his hand. In one breath's time, Long Chen gently brought his pill flame's energy over to the medicinal cauldron, slowly starting to heat it up. The next step was starting the cauldron. After heating it up, he had to use spiritual strength to urge the pill flame to enter into the cauldron. The benefits from doing this were that it allowed for the entire cauldron to enter the correct state and reduced the chance of a cauldron explosion. Long Chen actually had higher quality methods, but he had no choice but to use the alchemist guild's most basic techniques. He didn't want himself to appear too shocking to others. That would not be of benefit to him in the future. If someone were to secretly turn against him, that person could cause a lot of trouble for him. The people present originally considered Long Chen to be beneath them, but seeing his very practiced and skilled movements, the contempt on everyone's faces faded by quite a bit. 
Once all the preparations were complete, Long Chen didn't hesitate before throwing in an iron thread grass to refine. This action of his caused everyone, who had just started to become interested in him, to immediately think he was stupid. The iron thread grass required an extremely long time to refine. It was usually done later when the medicinal cauldron had completely heated up. Only Grandmaster Yan Qi's eyes flashed with a strange light as he secretly nodded. What astonished everyone was that as soon as the iron thread grass entered the refinement, before it even turned to powder, it was ejected from Long Chen's cauldron and placed to the side as he started refining a different medicinal ingredient. Once he finished with the sixth ingredient, Long Chen started refining the iron thread grass once more, but he didn't complete its refinement before starting to refine a different herb. This action was something none of them understood, but seeing Grandmaster Yan Qi's eyes filled with admiration, they all couldn't help being startled. Could this youth's techniques really have some kind of secret behind them? Long Chen refined the iron thread grass a total of 13 times before completely refining it. At this stage, all of the 20-something medicinal ingredients had been refined. Under normal circumstances, a pill apprentice would normally take this chance to take a breath and calm their nerves. But Long Chen didn't waste even that slightest bit of time. After refining all of them into powders, he directly started refining the pill. He started throwing in powder after powder into the pill furnace. What none of them could understand was why Long Chen waited until the end to put the iron thread grass essence powder into the cauldron. With the circulation of his spiritual strength, the pill flame quickly shot up, and ripples from the heat appeared as Long Chen truly began his pill refinement. What a powerful spiritual strength. Everyone couldn't help but feel shocked. But at the same time, they also shook their heads. If he started wasting his spiritual strength to increase the flame's strength now, how could he condense the pill later? It appeared that young people really were too impatient. Grandmaster Yan Qi was completely engrossed with his actions. In this place, only he understood what Long Chen's intention was. At the same time, he also started to like Long Chen more and more. With such a powerful soul and the ability to work hard, it was definitely possible for him to have great achievements in life. What caused disbelief in everyone was that even after an hour, Long Chen's spiritual strength didn't show any signs of weakening, but was actually becoming stronger and stronger. Bang! The medicinal cauldron started to gently shake, and a powerful undulation came from it. Everyone's gaze focused. They all knew that this was the most critical moment. With the medicinal cauldron continuously shaking, most alchemists would lower the pill flame's power to stabilize the cauldron. But Long Chen didn't do that at all. On the contrary, he fed in even more spiritual strength and the pill flame became even hotter. The sounds and shaking from the cauldron became even more intense. What is he doing? All of their expressions changed. This wasn't refining pills. This was causing a cauldron explosion. He was clearly doing it on purpose. Boom. The medicinal cauldron jumped and Long Chen suddenly used one hand to tightly press down on the cauldron's lid. A sudden burst of powerful spiritual strength completely exploded out. Bang. The near-exploding pill furnace immediately stopped and returned to calm. What a messy method. It's such a waste of energy. Long Chen wiped away his sweat. Using this method to refine pills really was exhausting. But it was important that he didn't reveal his true strength. He could only display this basic, bitter method. Gently lifting the cauldron lid, a dense pill fragrance immediately filled the air. Everyone was completely shocked. He actually succeeded. Everyone present could be considered experts. So without even needing to look inside the cauldron and relying just on the pill fragrance, they knew that he had succeeded. Most of their expressions were filled with astonishment. Excellent. At the very least it should be a middle-grade medicinal pill. Grandmaster Yan Qi was looking at Long Chen in admiration. Long Chen had definitely far surpassed his expectations. He had known that with Long Chen's spiritual strength, it would not be difficult to successfully refine a pill. But he had wanted to see how good Long Chen's foundation was. But today he saw that Long Chen's foundational techniques were incomparably sturdy and not at all inferior to pill apprentices who had trained for many years. The most remarkable thing was Long Chen's deep understanding of medicinal essence. He knew that the iron thread grass was extremely fierce in nature and required multiple refinements to curb that violent nature. Doing so would allow the pill's energy to increase and at the same time, increase the chance of a successful refinement. Such a refining method was something no one within the Alchemist Guild knew about, but within the guild was a secret warehouse of rare tomes. A couple seniors had made recordings there. The writings were unfortunately very vague, but it did have this theory. 
by refining the iron thread grass multiple times, it should be possible to reduce its violent nature, but those recordings only mentioned extremely ordinary techniques or incomplete ideas. When it came to alchemists, who would be so kind as to just give away their blood, sweat, and tears, let alone the others, even Grandmaster Yan Qi, who knew about this recording, had never mentioned this method of refining the iron thread grass. One reason was that he had no obligation to go and teach others, and the other was that alchemists who weren't capable of innovation would not have any great achievements anyways. When the others heard Grandmaster Yan Qi say that it was a middle-grade medicinal pill, they were all in complete disbelief. Looking at the gazes all focused on him, Long Chen smiled slightly. With a wave of his hand, his spiritual energy pulled out five fully round medicinal pills. Along two of the pills were some shocking eye-attracting veins, pill lines. This was a characteristic of middle-grade pills. For a moment, the entire room was silent. Other than Grandmaster Yan Qi, everyone's eyes were filled with shock, admiration, and of course, a trace of jealousy. Seeing the five pills in his hands, Long Chen finally relaxed. Grandmaster Yan Qi took this moment to announce, Long Chen has succeeded in refining a pill. I reward him a second-class credit. Everyone's expressions changed at that. A second-class credit was a privilege that allowed you to buy second-tier medicinal pill ingredients. This caused everyone's eyes to turn red with envy. In front of everyone's complicated gazes, Long Chen followed Grandmaster Yan Qi out of the room. However, once they were out, Yan Qi suddenly turned to Long Chen and gravely said the following, Long Chen, be wary of that woman. Chapter 22 Wild Translator Born to be Long Chen was surprised and confused. Which woman did he mean? That girl that fought with you at the beginning. Yan Qi said solemnly. What? Does she have a problem? Asked Long Chen in confusion. Grandmaster Yan Qi hesitated for a moment before saying, Come with me. Long Chen followed Grandmaster Yan Qi to the cultivation room they had gone to before. He couldn't help being curious. She was just at the peak of Qi condensation. So there was no reason for Grandmaster Yan Qi to specifically warn him about her. They entered the room and closed the door before Grandmaster Yan Qi touched his spatial ring and took out a drawing. Opening the drawing, Long Chen was started to see that it depicted a beautiful, delicate woman refining pills in front of an ancient medicinal cauldron. What shocked him was that that woman in the drawing was almost exactly like that crazy woman he had encountered. The only difference was that the woman in the painting was serene and full of peace, giving people a gentle feeling. The feeling which that crazy woman gave off was completely different. This is, Long Chen probingly asked. That drawing was extremely old. Just why had Yan Qi taken it out? The person in this drawing is my wife. A rarely seen warmth appeared on Grandmaster Yan Qi's solemn face when he looked at the person in the drawing. Long Chen's mouth dropped. That was something he had never expected. For a moment he didn't know what to say. After a moment, Yan Qi gently put away the drawing and sighed. My wife passed away a long time ago. When I first saw that woman, I thought I was hallucinating. It took me a long time before I calmed myself down. But as soon as that woman said she wanted to be my apprentice, I immediately felt my guard go up. What? Does she have some kind of secret goal? Asked Long Chen. Yan Qi smiled slightly and didn't reply to that. She is also a pill apprentice and has an excellent talent. She might even be better than you. So you have to be careful around her. Long Chen was somewhat mystified by this. But Grandmaster Yan Qi no longer said anything about it. He took Long Chen's jade tablet and carved his own special engraving on it. That engraving had a trace of his spiritual strength. With it, Long Chen would be able to get quite a few precious medicinal ingredients from the Alchemist Guild's medicinal room on credit. He sent Long Chen out as soon as he finished that engraving. Countless questions bounced around in Long Chen's head. Perhaps the arrival of that crazy woman wasn't a coincidence. If she had done it on purpose, then what was her goal? Was she there to seduce Grandmaster Yan Qi? But with his age, that didn't seem too likely. And if that had been the goal, shouldn't she be a bit more docile? Who would fall in love with such a wild crazy woman? Did Grandmaster Yan Qi have some other secrets? Was it possible that she was some illegitimate daughter of his? But that also didn't sound right. If he had had an illegitimate daughter, she wouldn't have anything to do with his wife. Yet they looked so similar. He got a headache from thinking about it. Yet he still couldn't figure it out. But in any case, Grandmaster Yan Qi wouldn't harm him. So he should just do as he said and be more careful of her. He went directly to the medicinal ingredient room with his jade tablet. When he showed it off. The assistant's expression immediately became extremely respectful. Long Chen asked about the credit procedure. 
he learned that the first-class credit users could borrow 5 million gold coins worth of medicinal ingredients that were limited to the first tier, but Long Chen's second-class credit allowed him to borrow 30 million gold coins of first-tier medicinal ingredients, as well as five sets of second-tier medicinal ingredients. This kind of result made this trip well worth it. With such a credit limit he would no longer need to be worried about not being able to afford medicinal ingredients. Normally, if an alchemist could succeed in refining one out of five times, then he would end up breaking even. If he could succeed an extra time then he would make a great profit. As for Long Chen with his pill god memories, his chance of failure when refining a first tier medicinal pill was 0%. If his pill flame wasn't so weak, his efficiency in the number of pills per furnace would increase even more. But when he thought about refining second tier medicinal pills, Long Chen decided not to try it. With his current pill flame's strength, refining a second tier pill would tire him to death. For the moment, he should continue focusing on condensing his Feng Fu star. The current initial success of his Feng Fu star still had an extremely great room for improvement. He wanted to condense his Feng Fu star to its perfect state. Long Chen wanted to spend all of his money to buy the Feng Fu pill's ingredients but he was disappointed to find that the guild didn't have that kind of quantity in stock. Without any other choice, he bought 50 sets of the ingredients as well as a couple of other first-tier medicinal ingredients. Once he refined them into medicinal pills, he could sell them to the guild and make money that way. Martial arts were prevalent within the Phoenix Cry Empire, and with so many people and adventurers, medicinal pills were always in high demand and were in a situation where the supply could never meet the demand. Fortunately, the alchemist guild had a conscience and didn't evilly increase the price. Otherwise, the guild would definitely start making money hand over fist. Long Chen was planning on going straight to his room after leaving the guild. But before he got home, he suddenly heard a bunch of shouts and curses. So he hastily walked over to look. He saw ten servants were currently beating someone. There was a very round, fat, middle-aged man pointing at that person while cursing. What's going on here? He asked of a man watching the chaos. He, you'll laugh to death once you hear it. Do you see that chimney that's over 200 meters tall? It was built by that kid. The boss came to do an inspection today, and when he saw it, he almost died of anger. That idiot read the blueprints upside down. He was actually supposed to be building a well. Ha ha ha. Long Chen also choked on his laughter when he heard that. Did people like that really exist in this world? Seeing that person being beaten on the ground, his heart shook slightly. That person didn't seem to be that old. He probably wasn't even older than Long Chen, but his body was exceptionally long and strong. He was just lying on the ground and letting those people hit him without retaliating. What shocked Long Chen was that whenever those people's punches or kicks landed on his body, an indescribable energy came out of his body and deflected them away. Without Long Chen's shocking spiritual strength, it would be impossible to notice that faint ripple. But as for that youth, there were no spiritual energy fluctuations from him and so he definitely wasn't a cultivator. That youth simply lay there for a long time without reaction, and the result was that the people beating him eventually got tired, their hands and feet starting to ache. Damn, he really angers me to death. Just how much money is this idiot going to cost me? Beat him to death. That fat boss became angrier whenever he looked at the huge chimney in front of him. He repeatedly cursed and went over to kick him a couple of times. Stop. Damn it, who do you think you are? That boss was so angry he didn't even look at who was speaking before cursing. Only then did he look for the speaker. As soon as he did, he immediately started to sweat and stuttered. Young, master, just stop. Here are a hundred gold coins, enough to tear down the chimney and build a new well. Long Chen was too lazy to argue or haggle with such a person, so he just directly threw a bag of gold coins to him. If he could resolve a problem with just a little money, then he was disinclined to take further action. The others all saw this and quickly stopped. The fat boss quickly said, Young master, this, take it and get out of here. Long Chen frowned and his voice became cold. When he looked at that man's face, Long Chen knew that he was an idiot who would try to form some kind of good relation with him. So he directly ordered him away. This kind of person would make him lose face. Yes, yes, I'll leave right away. He quickly brought everyone away dejectedly. Little brother. Please get up, said Long Chen to the youth who was still just lying on the ground. The youth seemed as if he was sleeping. Only when Long Chen called out did he blankly raise his head and realize that the people beating him had gone. Are you the person who saved me? He asked confusedly. Get up and then we'll talk, smiled Long Chen. That youth seemed to be 100% honest and kind. 
giving people a good impression. When he stood up, the people who had been watching the fuss all let out shocked cries. While he had been lying on the ground, they had only realized that he was a bit big. But now that he stood up, he completely shocked everyone. He was approximately three meters tall. He was practically a giant, and he gave people an extremely pressuring feeling. How tall? Long Chen was also surprised. In front of him, everyone else there had become children in comparison. Why didn't you fight back when they were beating you? Seeing how strong-bodied he was and the fact that the people attacking him weren't martial artists, Long Chen believed he could have easily knocked them all down. They said I did something bad, so I couldn't fight back when they hit me. He simple-mindedly replied. Long Chen shook his head. This huge fellow might be strong, but it seemed his intelligence was still at the level of a child. No wonder he was so honest and not there. But to mistake a well in the blueprints and end up building a huge chimney, that kind of intelligence was definitely worrying. Where's your house? I have no house. Does your house need any hard labor? I'm very big, and I don't need a salary as long I get some food. I'm very hungry, he implored. Just as he was about to reply, someone reminded him, Young master, don't be fooled. This fellow can easily eat a whole bull in an instant. Taking him in isn't profitable. No, as long as there's rice it's fine. I don't need meat, he somewhat urgently said. Fine, come with me. What's your name? Asked Long Chen. I'm called Wild Bull. Thank you, big bro. Wild Bull happily said. Hmm, I'll call you Wild in the future. You can just call me Brother Long. Long Chen nodded. One, okay Brother Long. Wild straightforwardly nodded his head. The people in the crowd left behind by Long Chen and Wild all became jealous. They were jealous of that idiot who had become favored by a noble heir. Stupid people really did have stupid luck. On the road, Long Chen asked Wild about his past. Wild said that he had been picked up by some nice people, but once he turned five, an epidemic took the lives of everyone in his village except for him. He had managed to roam around all the way to the imperial capital. He was able to get food from people by trading labor. But because his appetite was too big, he was quickly turned away. So his everyday life was extremely bitter. Wild, you can follow me in the future. I won't let you be hungry again. Sympathy arose in Long Chen's heart. As the saying went, arrogant people end up with arrogant people, while sufferers end up with other sufferers. Although the two of them had different statuses, they had both gone through much pain. They weren't that different except that Long Chen had managed to turn his luck around just recently. As they walked, they ended up in a wide road when suddenly startled shouts rang out and a massive silhouette shot past them. That was a luxurious carriage being pulled by a scarlet yak, a first-ranked magical beast. Its wild pulling took over half the entire road, not taking the surrounding people into any consideration. A five-year-old girl was playing on the road when she suddenly saw the giant scarlet yak and was immediately scared stiff. She was petrified, unable to even dodge. At any second, it would run her over. Long Chen coldly snorted, stepping forward explosively, causing several of the sturdy floor tiles beneath his feet to shatter. He was like a bolt of lightning, immediately reaching and grabbing the girl, hastily pulling her to the side. The carriage shot past the two of them just as he stabilized himself. Long Chen thought that that would be it, but an angry cry rang out. What lowly slave dares block my path? You're asking for death. Along with this cold shout, a long whip whistled through the air, shooting towards Long Chen. Chapter 23 How Bold Translator Born to be what lowly slave dares block my path? You're asking for death. Along with this cold shout, a long whip whistled through the air as it shot towards Long Chen. That whip moved extremely quickly and craftily. The person attacking him was surprisingly a whip master. Long Chen should have been able to dodge, but it was more difficult with him holding the little girl. Fury arose within him. It was now already too late for him to dodge. Protecting the little girl. He used his spiritual energy to protect his body and prepared to forcibly take the blow on his arm. Just at that moment, a huge figure arrived in front of Long Chen. Bang! Wild grinned at Long Chen. It was he who took the blow on his back for Long Chen. Long Chen's eyes darkened. He wanted to see exactly who it was that had attacked. But that carriage was already speeding away. A surprised sound came from it, as that person clearly was startled by Wild's arrival. However, the carriage still didn't stop. Are you okay Wild? Asked Long Chen, suppressing his anger. Brother Long, I'm fine. I've been hit so many times since I was a child that I'm already used to it. Grinned Wild. But the clothing on his back was torn, exposing his skin. A line of blood was slowly flowing out. A woman suddenly came by and grabbed the girl. 
She wept inconsolably as she thanked Long Chen and Wild. Wild smiled goofily, and Long Chen consoled her with a couple of words before leaving. But Long Chen was stifling a stomach of anger. To barge down such a busy and crowded road and actually hit someone with a whip. Long Chen was planning on having a good look into the person who dared be so bold. Although Wild's wound that was dripping with blood appeared frightening, it was just a flesh wound. This amazed Long Chen. Just how powerful was Wild's physical body? That person, who had attacked viciously, was extremely powerful, but his attack only broke Wild's skin. As the two of them walked, Wild's stomach suddenly let out a growl that was as loud as thunder. Long Chen stopped distractedly, suddenly realizing that there was a bun store right beside them from which the smell of meat was wafting out of. Wild embarrassingly said, Brother Long, I'm not hungry, don't worry about it, I'm hungry, so let's go have a snack. Long Chen brought Wild into the bun store and found a table for the two of them to sit at, directly handing a gold coin to the owner, he said, bring out all the buns in your store, brother Long, I'm really not hungry, I only need some rice, Wild hastily said, that was because he had had countless experiences of people seeing him eat and immediately breaking off relations with him, Wild was afraid of this calamity repeating itself again, Wild, you blocked a whip for me, from now on, you're like a brother to me, and I, Long Chen, would also block a whip for you, therefore, you shouldn't say anything to me that you wouldn't say to a brother, okay, Long Chen seriously said, Wild was someone who had blocked a whip for him after only just meeting him, such a person was worthy of being called brother by Long Chen, brother Long, I, Wild suddenly began to cry loudly, in all his years of homeless wandering, this was the first time he felt this warmth and the first time someone ever treated him this well, good bro, don't cry, between us brothers, we don't cry, we sweat, tears are for cowards, Long Chen patted Wild's shoulder, okay brother Long, I'll listen to you, whatever you want me to do, I'll do, Wild wiped away his tears, Long Chen considered telling him that he should have some more confidence, but when he thought about how he had mistakenly built a chimney instead of a well, he decided against it, at this time, the owner of the bun shop brought over a basket, Long Chen smiled, Wild, eat as much as you want, Brother Long has plenty of money, so don't hold back for me. Wild nodded and no longer stood on courtesy. The fist-sized buns were swallowed each with one bite, one after another. Although he had long since prepared himself, Long Chen was still shocked by Wild's appetite. Even after all of the over 300 meat buns had been eaten, Wild still seemed to want more. By now, the owner was extremely anxious. All his buns were gone now, and there was no way for him to make more in such a short time. 300 buns were only about 6 silver coins, but when he went to give Long Chen the change, the two of them had already left. When the two of them returned to Long Chen's home, he first brought Wild to see his mother. Mrs. Long was quite frightened at first due to how large Wild was, but after seeing Wild was so easygoing and childlike, she quickly calmed down. When Long Chen told her what Wild had been through, Mrs. Long immediately agreed to let him stay with them. Once Wild was settled down, Long Chen went to go refine pills. While refining in his own home, he didn't need to be worried so much as in the Alchemist Guild, so he unleashed his powerful spiritual strength fully, quickly increasing his pill refining speed to its peak. Three full days passed before Long Chen once more came out of his room. He had unceasingly refined for three days and three nights. He now held almost a hundred Feng Fu pills, and all of them were middle grade, other than the Feng Fu pill. Long Chen had also refined the very popular blood condensing pill, key condensing pill, the poison cure pill, etc. These were all to be sold to the guild to pay back his credit loan. Just as Long Chen exited his room, Baoer walked over with an embarrassed expression. Long Chen couldn't help distractedly asking, Baoer, what's going on, young master? Ah, Baoer was a bit flustered. Whatever it is, just tell me, laughed Long Chen. Well, ah, uh, in the house, there's no more food. She uneasily said, Wild's appetite really was just too great. Knowing how pitiful Wild's life had been, Mrs. Long had specifically told the kitchen to make more food, but the result was that just three days later, over a month's supply of the Long family's food had been eaten. Mrs. Long had secretly taken out a piece of jewelry for Baoer to go sell. Baoer had felt that this kind of thing should first be consulted with Long Chen, so she had come to find him. Long Chen laughed and patted her head. Little girl. You really have become smart. I'll handle this matter. Baoer was Long Chen's personal maid, and despite how poor the Long family had been, Baoer was unwilling to leave. 
Long Chen had long since begun to see her as a little sister. Young master, there's also not even enough food for dinner tonight, she reminded. At this point, she was practically the manager of the entire household. The bookkeeper had felt that there was no opportunity for advancement at the Long household, so he had long since left. Okay, I'll handle it right now. Long Chen still had a few gold coins on him, but that was just chump change. He called over Wild and the two of them left to go to the Alchemist Guild. There was no real reason why he had brought Wild along. Long Chen just wanted to develop his thinking some more. Wisdom was related with experience after all. Arriving at the guild, Long Chen went directly to the medicinal ingredient room and handed over dozens of round medicinal pills to the youth in charge. This youth was scared witless. He clearly remembered that Long Chen had only come three days ago for these medicinal ingredients. How did he manage to come back with these medicinal pills in just three days? On average, it was around half a year before people came back with enough pills to pay off their credit. Putting aside his shock, he dutifully took them and professionally examined each one. 17 middle grade and 36 low grade medicinal pills. Even though he had the utmost confidence in his tools, he was still in disbelief. When he confirmed that there was no mistake, he deducted the debt Long Chen had on credit. In the end, there were still some pills left over. Master Long Chen, for these remaining medicinal pills, do you plan on using them to exchange for medicinal ingredients or should I exchange them for gold coins? The youth respectfully asked. Convert them all to gold coins. All right, please wait a moment. That youth hastily flipped through a book with the most recent market prices for the medicinal pills. He had to calculate the price in accordance to that criterion. Master Long, in total, it's 8,170,000 gold coins. Long Chen nodded. The Alchemist Guild wasn't for profit, so this price was very fair. It was only a tenth less than the market price, and being able to enjoy so many special treatments in exchange was definitely extremely worth it. Give it to me on two crystal cards, two million on one card, and the rest on the other, said Long Chen. When he returned home, Bayer was already waiting at the gates. She handed Long Chen a red invitation card. Young Master Shi Feng sent over an invitation to you. Long Chen opened it and smiled. Shi Feng had exited his seclusion after breaking into the blood condensation realm. He had prepared a feast in the heroic assembly house and invited everyone to celebrate with him. When he calculated how many days had passed, it seemed about right. Bayer, here. Do good work as the housekeeper and this young master will purchase you a generous dari in the future, letting you marry in style, laughed Long Chen as he handed a crystal card to Bayer. Bayer's face was completely red, but when she saw the number on the card, her expression changed to complete disbelief. Little rich girl, the long household's future work will be handled by you. All right, go and buy back all of my mom's jewelry, even if it costs you ten times as much. It's not a problem, said Long Chen. Yes. Don't worry young master, Bayer will handle it properly. Bayer patted her chest several times and stood completely straight with confidence. Long Chen nodded and brought Wild along to the Heroic Assembly House. The Heroic Assembly House was a famous restaurant in the capital. The people who ate there were extremely rich. The main attraction was, of course, the imposing name, and adding on the good food, it became a favorite place for the royalty and nobility to party. At its top floor was a large round table. At this time, it was packed with all kinds of delicacies. However, at the moment, everyone was just idly chatting, and no one picked up their chopsticks. When they saw a certain figure walk in, everyone hastily stood up. Brother Long Brother Long Lord Long Shi Fang, Fatty Yu, and the others all called out to him, but when they saw Wild behind them they all jumped. Shi Feng was already considered very large, but he was still small in front of Wild. Let me introduce you to my brother, Wild. When they heard his introduction, everyone hastily greeted Wild, but all Wild did was nod and foolishly laugh. Only when Long Chen arrived did they all sit down to eat. Shi Feng raised his glass. Brother Long, I won't say any unnecessary words. I, Shi Feng, toast to you. Shi Feng deeply engraved his gratefulness to Long Chen in his heart. He would have needed several years before reaching the blood condensation realm, but now that he reached it so early, it would definitely be a huge help to him in the future allowing him to reach even higher heights. We all toast to you as well, Brother Long. Fatty Yu took the lead and everyone stood up. With the medicinal liquid Long Chen had given them, they had quickly begun sensing the spiritual key of heaven and earth. Xiao Hao from the daybreak Marquis and Fatty Yu had already reached the first vestige of key condensation. All this had only been possible due to Long Chen's support. 
Everyone was filled with gratitude to him. Cheers. Long Chen laughed. No matter what, these people had all helped each other in troubled times. They were his good friends. After a couple of drinks, everyone started to chat. Only Wild was completely focused on eating. Long Chen had intentionally asked Shi Feng to order some extra food. Luckily, Wild had already eaten a lot before coming. Otherwise, he might have scared Fatty Yu and the others to death. Everyone was talking about their current situations. Not only were they full of vigor, but now that they could cultivate, their fortunes within their families had also risen in accord. The most important thing was the news that Long Chen had become a pill apprentice had passed throughout practically the entire imperial capital. Long Chen's relationship with Fatty Yu and the others was something everyone knew about. Therefore, each of their families had secretly told them to make some good relations with him. This relieved them of the constant pressure they were under. Just as everyone was conversing, footsteps suddenly came from below. Shi Feng frowned. I definitely told the owner to keep an eye out. I already reserved the entire restaurant. So how is there still someone coming up? Whatever. Having more people is also fun. Fatty Yu had clearly become a bit tipsy and his tongue had become loose. A voice rang out at this moment. Everyone in here get out. I don't want to have to eat with a bunch of lowly degenerates. Long Chen's expression immediately turned cold, and the veins in his hands jumped out angrily. Chapter 24 Revenge in Just a Day Translator Born to be Long Chen had originally just been drinking alcohol calmly, but now his face turned cold and blue veins popped out on his hands. That voice was very familiar to Long Chen. The familiarity caused Long Chen's killing intent to explode out, and this strangeness was noticed by everyone. Brother Long, what's going on? Asked Fatty Yu. Seeing him in his murderous state, he immediately awoke from his tipsy state. Don't worry about it. When that person comes up, just act really annoying. Keep focus on celebrating with Shi Feng and put on a show of it, said Long Chen. Everyone realized that Long Chen was wanting to make a disturbance. Currently, they all had the support of their families and were told to form good relations with Long Chen as best as they could. How could they let such a good opportunity go? Brother Long, just watch. Xiao Hao patted his chest confidently. The footsteps continued getting closer. A man in his twenties wearing a strange hat and long eyebrows entered the room. Long Chen didn't reveal his face and he also told Wild not to either. The two of them had their backs facing that person. After that person came up, a bitter-faced man also came up behind him. He appeared to be the restaurant's shopkeeper. Get them all out. Otherwise, I'll blame you. That arrogant man didn't even place Long Chen's group within his arrogant eyes. Obviously, he felt that personally shooing them would reduce his status so he had the shopkeeper do it. Oh my, have you guys noticed there's a whiner growing out of his head? Xiao Hao said quietly to Fatty Yu. Although it was said quietly, it wasn't a whisper. Anyone there could hear it completely clearly. Long Chen smiled. The strange hat on that man's head did have a long protuberance at the front. At first, he hadn't noticed. But once Xiao Hao said it, he realized that it really was similar. It's nothing to make a fuss about. I bet his dad was too corrupt and other people cursed it there. Fatty Yu looked somewhat disdainfully at Xiao Hao. What? Asked Xiao Hao confused. Wow. Have you not heard about the curse before? They curse you to have a son with a penis growing on his head. Oh, brother really is wise. Xiao Hao said admiringly. When the shopkeeper saw everyone jeer and taunt this person, he turned pale with fright and quickly cast a meaningful look at Shi Fang. Unfortunately, Shi Fang, who had a slight relationship with the shopkeeper, didn't pay him any attention and acted as if he had never met him. That long eyebrowed man's face became cold immediately, and he icily looked at Fatty Yu. Damn fattest pig, are you guys looking to die? Fatty Yu shook his head. Brother, seeing your bitter face, I can easily tell that someone close to you must have died. Was it your father? Your mother? Either way, now's not the time to eat and drink here. Right, that's too unfilial. Such a son should be directly thrown into the streets. SHH. Stop. Don't you see him trembling? If we keep talking, he might go crazy and start foaming at the mouth. Then how will we be able to drink and enjoy ourselves? The power of teamwork was definitely amazing. Everyone heard Fatty Yu and Xiao Hao's taunts, so they all inserted their own ridicule. They definitely had to at least contribute their own jokes at such an opportunity. Die. With a short cry, a long whip appeared in that person's hand. The wind howled with biting cold killing intent. As it crashed down upon them, everyone realized that that whip had them all in range. Shi Feng had long since been prepared for this. With just a touch on his belt, a blade slashed out. The long blade and the flexible whip collided. 
emitting an explosive sound. Shi Feng felt a huge power hit him and was sent flying into the roof, shaking the entire restaurant. His face turned slightly red due to an internal injury, a sign that his blood and ki was about to overflow out of his control. He had shockingly been beaten in just one attack. Go die you urchins. After that first attack, his whip became like a poisonous dragon, immediately turning rigid and becoming like a sword stabbing towards Shi Feng's heart. This shocked everyone. They hadn't expected this person to be so ruthless. He was clearly intent on killing Shi Feng. That whip was too fast, and Shi Feng was unable to dodge it. Just when he thought he was about to die, a large hand tightly grabbed the whip. It was now completely unable to move. Brother Long, everyone cried out as Long Chen appeared beside Shi Feng. He appeared like a king amongst men as he coldly looked at that man. It's you. That man couldn't help being startled when he saw that it was Long Chen. Good. You still remember me. A cold smile appeared on Long Chen's face. He suddenly tugged on the whip and the man was startled to feel a huge force involuntarily pull him flying towards Long Chen. He was slightly startled, never expecting Long Chen's strength to be so great. Even a first vestige of blood condensation expert like him couldn't resist. He sneered, and borrowing the force from being pulled over by Long Chen, he raised his leg and aimed it at Long Chen's stomach. His reactions were so quick that it dazzled and confused the others. This person was obviously a true expert. Seeing him rushing over, Long Chen also sent a kick out. Its speed wasn't that great, but it was perfectly timed such that it viciously landed on that person's crotch right before his attack reached Long Chen's stomach. The sound of something exploding caused everyone else's groins to turn cold. Goosebumps arose all along their backs. A-H-H. -A, -H. a miserable scream resounded through the restaurant. Everyone who heard that cry had their hair stood on end. But even such a blood-curdling cry was unable to relieve his pain. He rolled on the ground fiercely, his face contorted in pain, screaming. Due to these intense movements, his hat suddenly fell off, and Fatty Yu and the other's expressions all changed. Someone from the Grand Zion Empire. When the hat came off, it revealed an extremely ancient hair bun like a stretched out thumb. It was no wonder his hat was so strange. That hair bun was a mark of the Grand Zaya. Only nobles with high status would style their hair like that. Everyone looked at each other in dismay, realizing that they had caused a huge disaster here. The Grand Zaya and Phoenix Cry had a good relationship, and this kind of disaster could even influence the relations between the two empires. The consequences would be severe. Looking at the rolling man, the suppressed anger inside Long Chen loosened slightly. He handed the whip to Wild and said, He hit you. You can hit him back now. Hit someone? I can't. Wild hesitated. Long Chen's face darkened. You won't listen to me. I. I'll do it. Seeing Long Chen's face darken, Wild quickly became frightened. He had only ever known how it felt to be beaten. This would be the first time he hit back. He held the whip in his hand for a long moment of hesitation, not daring to strike. Do it shouted Long Chen. He had to push Wild to take this step. Otherwise, he could only end up bullied for the rest of his life. Okay, okay. Wild took a deep breath and used the whip to attack him. Hey, but that scream wasn't from the man with the long eyebrows. It had come from the person closest to Wild. Brother Wild, you have to aim better that person had to suppress his tears as he rubbed his thigh that Wild had hit painfully. Wild's face reddened. He had never used a whip. It was so light that he couldn't use any real force. Missing the person in front of him, he ended up hitting his neighbor. Long Chen sighed. This child needed to temper himself. Continue. When Long Chen shouted this, everyone immediately ran at least 10 meters away. Only at that distance did they feel safer. Crack. This time Wild had picked up a bit about how to use a whip, but he still ended up missing his target by almost 3 meters. The man with the long eyebrows was still tightly holding his groin. His face twisted in pain. He didn't pay any attention to Wild's weak attacks. Brother Long, this time I'll definitely get it right. Seeing how unsightly Long Chen's face had become, Wild hastily reassured him and prepared to lash the whip again. Just at this time, a figure appeared behind everyone. This person was in his 30s and had an exceptionally long blade scar on his face that made him appear extremely fierce. Stay your hand. That man sternly shouted in fury when he saw the man lying on the floor with Wild holding a whip in his raised hand. Just because you tell us to stop, we're supposed to stop? Hit him, ordered Long Chen coldly. Hearing Long Chen, Wild no longer hesitated and sent another lash towards the man. You're asking for it. Seeing Wild actually attack, he furiously stepped forward, his figure turning into a violent tempest that charged towards Wild. Get lost. 
Long Chen also stepped forward, getting between them and punching out. Seeing Long Chen come forward to block him, he frowned and also sent out a punch. Boom. The air exploded when the two fists met. But what shocked the scarred man was that his fist was actually completely unable to force back this frail and scholarly looking young man. At this time, Wild Slash finally landed. Originally, he had been aiming for the man's buttocks. But due to his poor aim, it actually landed on his face. Furthermore, it ended up landing perfectly on the nose. Although Wilde didn't know how to use a whip, he still had quite a bit of physical strength. The man's nose immediately broke and blood spurted out. Seeing this, the scarred man turned ashen with anger. With a draconian shout, he unleashed his full power to force Long Chen back. Long Chen saw the situation and decided not to wait any longer. The Feng Fu star on the bottom of his left foot shook and terrifying spiritual energy flooded out. He now used his full strength. The two of their fists offset each other. But the powerful energy was something the tiles on the floor were unable to bear and spiderweb cracks spread out. The scarred man's expression changed when he found out that Long Chen could still continue to block him when he used all his strength. Killing intent exploded out from him. His aura erupted from his body and a faint blood-colored key could even be seen filling the air. His frightening energy caused even the atmosphere to become heavy. The others all had some trouble breathing. Mid-blood condensation realm. Everyone was astonished, as that level of blood key was something that only mid-blood condensation experts were capable of. Each major level of martial cultivation had nine minor levels that were split from the first heaven stage to the ninth heaven stage. First to third heaven stages were early stage. Fourth to sixth were mid stage, and seventh to ninth were late stage. As for the scarred man in front of them, now that all his strength had exploded out, everyone realized that he was a shocking mid blood condensation expert. Boom. Long Chen felt his blood and key below, and he was forced back over three meters. His stomach started to ache. He had finally discovered his limit. This person in front of him was someone he was currently not a match for. Fear and shock filled him inside. As for that scarred man, he sent a fist flying towards Long Chen without hesitation. You dare attack my brother Long. A thunderous roar shook everyone's ears suddenly, and a fist covered in blood-colored light smashed towards the scarred man with an immense power. Chapter 25 Grand Zaya's Prince Translator Born to be you dare hit my brother Long. That man suddenly felt a chill as if a giant monster was staring at him. Without even thinking about it, the punch that was aimed at Long Chen immediately changed direction colliding with a fist that was even larger than his own. Bang. The entire restaurant rocked and everyone was shocked to see that the huge figure that was protecting Long Chen was actually Wild. Wild was like a war god, his eyes practically spitting flames as a strange red layer appeared over his skin. He actually managed to firmly stop the scarred man's punch. But although he blocked it, Wild was still forced back several steps, and he would have fallen to the ground if Long Chen hadn't come to support him. The scarred man was surprised yet again. Both Long Chen and Wild didn't have any obvious cultivation base, yet they were actually able to consecutively block him. A blood condensation expert. His shock quickly led to killing intent. Long Chen saw he had provoked the man's killing intent. His Feng Fu star had yet to reach the level of complete condensation and so he was unable to handle him. The most important point was that although the scarred man had released his full strength, he had yet to consider them true opponents. From the beginning until now, he had yet to use any battle skills. He had clearly not unleashed his full attack potential on them. Long Chen didn't know what was happening with Wild for him to suddenly become several times stronger. But even if the two of them joined hands, they would definitely not be able to block the scarred man's killer attacks. Long Chen stealthily rubbed his spatial ring. A fiery red medicinal pill appeared in his hand as he coldly looked at the scarred man. Everyone stop. Just as the scarred man was preparing to attack again, a cold shout rang out and a group of people appeared at the top floor of the restaurant. There were at least a dozen people, most wearing protective armor, but the two men at the front were wearing yellow imperial robes. Greetings to His Highness the Crown Prince. Everyone was shocked and hastily knelt down when they saw that person. That person was the Crown Prince Chu Yang. He appeared to be 27 years old, and with his square nose, he had a rather dignified and imposing air. The man beside him was slightly younger. He was pale and very handsome. However, he also gave people a very soft and gentle feeling. Brother Chu Yang, does your Phoenix Cry Empire treat its guest this way? Gloomily asked that man. At this moment, Chu Yang's expression was slightly unsightly. Looking at the man with long eyebrows lying on the ground, he angrily demanded, What is going on here? Have you all gone blind? 
Do you not realize these are guests from the Grand Zaya? Chu Yang's gaze swept over all of them. Fatty Yu and the others' hearts were all pounding nervously, and sweat ran down their foreheads. They could tell that for that person to talk to the crown prince in such a way, in addition to his hair bun, he was most likely a prince of the Grand Zaya. The Grand Zaya was once mortal enemies with the Phoenix Cry Empire, but in the past few decades, their relations had mellowed and they had become allies. But the Grand Zaya only had two princes, and they didn't know whether this person was the crown prince or the second prince. My eyes haven't gone blind. This guy has blind dog eyes. So I just took the place of his master and taught him a little lesson. Long Chen walked forward indifferently. Who are you? The crown prince Chu Yang was irritated that a youth would dare speak to him in such a manner. But he was still calm and didn't immediately order his subordinates to capture him. Long Chen. If he hadn't known Long Chen's name a month ago, he definitely knew it by now. There were few members in the upper class who had yet to hear of him. He was originally a trash cripple but had now defeated a key condensation expert on the martial arena twice in a row, and then somehow became a pill apprentice. There was a veil of mystery around him. Why did you beat up Crown Prince Chang Feng's bodyguard? Now that this matter involved the Alchemist Guild, even he, the Crown Prince, felt that it was extremely problematic. No reason. I just felt that it was his fate today. So I helped the heavens send him on his way. Long Chen spread his hands. You, Chu Yang exclaimed angrily. He had wanted Long Chen to give a reason, and then with a bit of his smoothing around and pointing out Long Chen's background with the Alchemist Guild, this matter would be resolved. But Long Chen acted like he hadn't understood anything and actually said such a line. His face turned green from rage. You're called Long Chen? I think I've heard of you. You seem to be pretty impressive these days. Suddenly asked the Grand Xia's Crown Prince Xia Changfeng. He, I might be a bit impressive, but I pale in comparison to the people from your Grand Xia. Long Chen pointed to the man lying on the ground, with a magical beast pulling a carriage. He went wild throughout the streets, barreling left and right without regard for other people. Now, that's really impressive. For a dog to be so impressive, I really can't imagine how impressive its master must be. Xia Changfeng's expression immediately sunk. Is this true? Long Chen coldly snorted. Don't ask me. Ask your dog. Lu Luo. Did such a thing truly happen? Xia Changfeng's gaze turned ruthless but he quickly pushed it down. Master, I was rushing for time. Who knows why the lowly people here don't know how to get out of the way. It isn't my fault. The man with the long eyebrows had now recovered slightly, and he suppressed his pain to answer. Idiot, this isn't the Grand Zaya. No one here recognizes our imperial carriages. Take him away. Zaya Changfeng's face turned dark, and he cursed. Two men wearing the Grand Zaya's clothes took the man away. He then turned towards Chu Yang and apologized. Chang Feng was not strict enough with my people. Once I return, I will definitely properly discipline them to Brother Chu Yang's satisfaction. Haha, <laughs> Brother Chang Feng is too courteous. I just hope this small matter won't affect the relations between our two empires, hastily said Chu Yang. Brother Chu Yang worries too much. This matter will cease here. He then turned to Long Chen and said, Many thanks to Little Brother for warning me of this danger. Everyone stared blankly. No one had expected the crown prince of the Grand Zaya to actually say such words and apologize to Long Chen. A feeling of admiration arose for him. This Grand Zaya prince truly had an extraordinary bearing. If it weren't for Long Chen's powerful spiritual strength and perception, he might also think that way. But that killing intent Zaya Changfeng had released towards him was not unnoticed or forgotten. Prince is too polite. For dogs to misbehave is common. You have to hold on to their leashes tightly. Otherwise. They'll bite and claw others. Long Chen laughed and warned him cordially. Hearing this, the scarred man's expression darkened. Long Chen's usage of the word dog included not only him but also all the other imperial bodyguards. But Xia Changfeng only smiled slightly as if he hadn't understood his implicit meaning. We just arrived at the capital, but all we've heard about is what you've done. I actually originally thought Brother Long was just an alchemist, but it seems everyone was wrong. You do will cultivate martial arts and pill refining. Such battle strength is truly admirable. You are definitely at the peak amongst your generation. Long Chen only looked back at Xia Changfeng, momentarily not understanding what he meant by this. He only smiled slightly without offering a response. I wonder if Brother Long would do me the honor of having a few drinks with me and Brother Chu, asked Xia Changfeng. Although his smile was pleasant, Long Chen sensed that it was a smile that hit a poisonous fang, and he felt extremely uncomfortable with it. I'm sorry. But this little brother has drunk too much just now and can't bear any more. 
Otherwise, I also wouldn't have bothered with two dogs. This little one will take his leave. Long Chen smiled and seemingly without noticing Xia Changfeng's darkened expression or the scarred man's dense killing intent, he brought Wild out. Once Long Chen left, Shi Feng and the others hastily apologized and ran, having experienced a great fright today. Master, why didn't you let me kill that kid? Lu Luo's now is incapable of having any more children. That kid is too vicious. At this time, the Grand Xia's prince had already returned to his residence, and the scarred man was speaking to him. That little kid is someone from the Alchemist Guild. Although he's not from our country's guild, if you killed him like that, I would have to hand you over to the guild for punishment. But that kid is completely wild. I just can't swallow this anger. To be repeatedly cursed as a dog, no one would be able to bear it. If you want to kill him, you first have to come up with a plan. You have to make sure to kill that person while being sure you'll survive. Xia Changfeng shook his head. Then does that mean, you have a plan? Asked the scarred man joyously. Of course. Otherwise, would I act so kind to him? Every single person who ever gets to see me put on that kind face has died. Xia Changfeng smiled a dark and profound smile. The scarred man couldn't help but shiver. Don't forget our goal in coming here. He's just a small matter. Let him live a few more days. The Phoenix Cry Empire's largest festival, the Phoenix Cry Lantern Festival, is about to arrive. That's the largest martial arts gathering of the year for Phoenix Cry. My praise today is not to be wasted. HMPH, once his popularity reaches its peak, challenge him at the Lantern Festival. At that time, would he be able to refuse? Xia Changfeng leaned back into his chair, his eyes half closed and a cold smile appearing on his mouth. Only now did the scarred man realize what a vicious trick this was. At that time, countless people would be watching. Long Chen couldn't refuse no matter how much he wanted to. If he dared to refuse, he would drown in ridicule, especially since he was so popular. However, be a bit more careful. As my imperial bodyguard, you can't reveal too much strength. Don't make me warn you again. Yes, don't worry master. Over these years, I have never revealed my true hidden strength replied the scarred man hastily. Xia Changfeng nodded, looking out into the night sky. His pupils were the exact same shade as the curtain of night. Unfathomable. Chapter 26 The Terrifying Wild Translator Born to be wild. What happened just now? Why did your power suddenly explode by so much? As soon as they got home, Long Chen immediately asked Wild about what had happened. At that time, Wild had given even Long Chen an intimidating feeling. I don't know. When I saw that person was about to hit you, my head buzzed and my whole body became hot. It was like some inexhaustible energy was coming out of my body, described Wild unsurely. Long Chen put his hand on Wild's shoulder and used his exceptional spiritual strength to probe his body. But when it entered into his body, he found a completely shocking situation. Wild's body was different from every other person. Most people had many winding meridians in their body, but Wild only had four meridians. Those four meridians went from his dantian to his four limbs. This was the first time Long Chen had ever encountered such a thing. Furthermore, the most surprising thing wasn't these strange meridians, but his physical body. A large majority of his cells had become closed off, appearing as if they were dead. But it wasn't a true death. Long Chen could sense that once heat passed over them, these cells that were in suspended animation would immediately swallow any cells that passed by them before returning to their state of fake death. Wild truly was a strange being. Long Chen remained puzzled after considering hundreds of possibilities before he finally came to a certain theory. Wild, have you ever truly been full before? Asked Long Chen. I eat till I'm very full here, said Wild. Tell me the truth. Ah, uh, well just being half full is already enough for me. Wild didn't dare hide the truth. Wild, remember, I'm your brother Long. You can't tell me any more lies in the future. Otherwise, I'll get mad. Long Chen admonished seriously. Brother Long, I, I know. Seeing his severe expression, Wild nervously agreed. Let me ask, what do you need to eat to feel more powerful? Meat. What kind of meat? Any meat. But beef is the best. I've eaten a bit of it. Long Chen nodded. Wild's special constitution had 99% of his cells in a suspended animation state. That was because there wasn't enough energy to provide for them. To protect themselves, they had to enter such a state. Even with his pill god memories, Long Chen had never seen such a strange body. Despite already having such a powerful body, only less than 1% of his cells were working. If all of his cells were activated, then just how terrifying would that be? Just thinking about that unnerved Long Chen, 
But wild was his own person, and the stronger he was, the better. How much meat can you eat in one go? Five kilograms. Wild hesitated and he raised one finger. The truth. A whole cow. The truth. I can eat five cows. Tell me the truth. Long Chen's voice was now a shout. I don't know, but I think if I had ten cows that would be enough. Wild had a somewhat bitter expression. He had never gotten to eat that much, so he himself didn't know how much he could eat. Long Chen shook his head, dumbfounded. Okay, tomorrow I'll go buy a whole pasture for you. You can eat as much as you want. The next day, Long Chen told Bayer to find pasture on the outskirts. The pasture wasn't very large, but there were over a thousand cows on it. Long Chen let Wild go over, and the result was that the next day, everyone else working on the pasture ran away. They later came to Bayer to report that Wild was a savage. He would grab a cow and punch it to death ripping off one of its legs and just start eating while it was still dripping with blood. All of them were trembling at the memory of it, afraid that Wild might become interested in them and eat them. Long Chen had no other choice but to hire a dozen chefs that would regularly go over to cook for Wild. Only then did Wild get to eat cooked food. But what shocked Long Chen was that while Wild could only eat 10 cows on the first day, with each passing day, his appetite grew voraciously. Since each cow was only two or three gold coins, Long Chen wasn't worried about being eaten into poverty. In fact, he delighted in what was happening. The fact that Wild's appetite was growing was a sign that his cells had started to gradually awaken. Once all his cells had awoken, Wild would be completely transformed. After resolving Wild's affairs, Long Chen entered his own seclusion. That battle with the scarred man had given him an extremely great sense of crisis. His feeling from that day was that the scarred man had still been holding back. Although he was not a threat for the moment, Long Chen still felt that this matter would not be resolved so simply. After merging with the pill god soul, his ability to sense danger had become increasingly great. Last time, his opponent hadn't been properly prepared. Once his opponent was prepared, Long Chen might really be doomed to die. But he still didn't regret it. Even if he was given another chance, he still would have handled things the same way. Otherwise, that lash Wild had received would stay forever in his heart. The heart could not be allowed to have imperfections, or it would eventually become a heart devil. Long Chen entered his seclusion in great determination this time, and he began to wildly absorb the Feng Fu pills. Seven days later, the Feng Fu star at the bottom of his foot finally emitted an exploding sound. The Feng Fu star had greatly changed under Long Chen's absorption of endless medicinal energy. The smooth outer shell was shed, and what shocked Long Chen was that the inside appeared to be a star. But this star was somewhat indistinct. It was filled with the rhythm of life though, a shocking state. That was the first star of the nine star hegemon body art, the Feng Fu star. The current Long Chen was no longer able to sense just what level of power he was at, and he was filled with shock. Boom. The Feng Fu star that was shedding its outer layer suddenly shook, and a terrifying energy caused even the room to shudder. Crap. What a huge movement. Despite being worried, it was too late for Long Chen to do anything. The entire room blew apart like paper. At the same time, the energy of heaven and earth underwent a huge shock and wildly surged towards Long Chen. Bang! Long Chen spat out a mouthful of blood. His body felt like it was on the verge of exploding, and he fainted. When Long Chen came to his senses, he saw his mother worriedly examining him. Seeing he had awoken, she was both alarmed and happy. Chen Er, you scared your mom. What were you doing? Long Chen quickly replied. Mom, it's nothing too big. A furnace explosion is normal when refining pills. He could only use a furnace explosion as an excuse. It was not easy to reassure his mother, but once he had, he used his divine sense to examine his insides, almost letting out a shocked exclamation. He had somehow gained a dantian. The originally empty spot now held three cyclones that were slowly revolving. What is going on? Noticing that the Feng Fu star on the bottom of his foot was still there, he relaxed quite a bit. But seeing those three cyclones in his dantian still gave him a pause. When his personal spirit root had been extracted, his dantian had turned into a land of nothing but death. That was something that could not be recovered from. Unless, did this mean that after condensing the Feng Fu star, the dantian would be reconstructed? Thinking back to what had happened just before he had fainted, he knew that the terrifying energy from heaven and earth that had surged into him was something that no ordinary person could endure. That energy had been crazily berserk. It was not something people could use. Could it mean that that energy had been used to destroy the original Danchen and then build a new one in its place? But in truth, Long Chen was wrong. 
The nine-star hegemon body art was an existence even more terrifying than he imagined. If he had actually had a dungeon at that time, then he would already be dead. Although Long Chen couldn't figure it out. He continued to examine the changes and found out that he could actually interact with the three cyclones in his dantian. Did I really reconstruct a dantian? Long Chen tried to pull the energy within the cyclones to the rest of his body and found out that there was not the slightest obstruction. He was easily able to use that energy. With a stamp of his foot, the Feng Fu star's energy also flowed out without the slightest pause. Long Chen was completely befuddled. What was the meaning of this? Was it just to gain another reserve of spiritual key? With a simple thought, Long Chen drew the Feng Fu star's energy into his dantian. He immediately felt as if a volcano was exploding within him. The terrifying energy was like a tsunami bursting forth. A mouthful of blood was quickly spat out by him, and he almost fainted again. Long Chen laid on the ground wildly gasping for air, filled with shock and terror. Even his internal organs had been shaken and torn, quickly swallowing a healing pill. The medicinal energy enveloped his body. Long Chen's pale face gradually returned to normal. What the hell is going on? Long Chen angrily snarled inside. Just now he had almost killed himself. That really would have been ridiculous. But he had no answer. In terms of the nine-star hegemon body art, all that he had in his memories was how to cultivate in it. All other informations about it was gone. There were no ranks, no origins, and no means of using it. In a sense, its defects were quite similar to his. Long Chen smiled bitterly. He had no spirit root, no spirit bone, and no spirit blood. These three things had all been snatched away. So he supposed he was quite suited to the nine-star hegemon body art. But if he couldn't figure out what was going on after such a strange event, Long Chen would not be able to stomach it. Grinding his teeth, he continued his interact with his Feng Fu star. This time Long Chen knew not to use such a large amount of it. He slowly drew a tiny amount, bit by bit. Boom. When that slightest bit of energy entered his dantian, Long Chen clearly sensed the three cyclones become ten times larger in an instant. Most shocking of all was when that slightest bit of Feng Fu star's energy entered. They went from slowly revolving to crazily spinning. Following the wild revolving of the three cyclones, endless energy immediately flowed out to all of Long Chen's body, filling him with power. Long Chen had finally figured out one of the secrets of the nine-star hegemon body art. It really was too shocking and too frightening. Even Long Chen himself was a bit terrified. Is this what the nine star transformations in my memories mean? The three cyclones in my dantian. Do they indicate three transformations? Only after a long time did Long Chen slowly calm his thoughts down. Since he had three cyclones now, then according to the rest of the world's tires, he would be a weak beginner at the third vestige of key condensation. But as for whether he truly was weak, that was something only Long Chen knew. This discovery filled him with both shock and excitement. With a touch of his spatial ring, an ancient beast hide appeared in his hand. That was what he had gained in exchange for bribing a blood condensation expert. Split the heavens. Split the heavens. He. Let me see just what secrets are hidden within you. Chapter 27 Flamacloud Palm Translator. Born to be looking at the nine red dots on the beast hide page. Long Chen sunk into a deep contemplation. These nine dots didn't have the slightest pattern. There were no explanations, but this time, Long Chen carefully examined them and found that there really was an extremely faint line connecting them. These should be nine acupuncture points. Long Chen had to look at them for a great deal of time before coming to this conclusion. Within Long Chen's mind was a map of countless meridians, and only after going down each and every single one of them did he come to such a conclusion. Other people might think about it until they died before figuring it out. Enter Li Yao, merge into Wei Miang. Rush into Kuchi. Join Leo Gong. 1. Long Chen quietly whispered the names of the nine points as he followed along their meridian paths. He paused. This isn't a fist or palm technique, but a weapon battle skill. What a brilliant technique. Long Chen studied it and found that when Qi flowed through these nine spots, it was as if a damned river had burst forth. After passing through nine turns, it would definitely be terrifying to the extreme when released. He had definitely gained a treasure this time. And although Long Chen didn't know what class it was, it was definitely not low. Under his urging, his Danchen's key flowed out towards the Li Yao point, but when he tried to urge his spiritual energy to the second acupuncture point, he found out that he was unable to continue. Huh. After a brief pause, Long Chen understood that this technique must have very high requirements in terms of spiritual energy. Without enough spiritual energy, it was impossible to use it. 
giving up on his Danshan spiritual energy, he started to use his Feng Fu star. As he expected, his Feng Fu star was filled with much more power than his Danshan. But when he arrived at the fourth acupuncture point, he began to stall. No matter how hard he tried, he was unable to reach the sixth point. I don't believe I can't do this. Long Chen clenched his jaw and sent a strand of spiritual energy from his Feng Fu star into his Danshan cyclones. The cyclones immediately released a wild energy. Controlling that energy, he quickly progressed. The sixth, the seventh, the eighth. Crap. Long Chen suddenly stopped and hastily recalled his spiritual energy. Using his divine sense, he examined his meridians. He was shocked to find that his meridians were already starting to break down from that terrifying energy, and tears had started to appear. If Long Chen had been a step too late in recalling his spiritual energy, his meridians would have completely exploded. If the meridians really did explode, then it would require an extremely long time to recover. Sweat dripped down his back from fear. Crap, I can't train in this for now. Long Chen could only unwillingly give up on practicing split the heavens. Swallowing a meridian nourishing pill, he quickly restored his slightly damaged meridians. Long Chen stood up and walked out. Opening the door, he took a deep breath of fresh air, recovering from his fatigue from his continuous training. At this time, the sun had just started to rise in the east. Long Chen made some inquiries for Bao Er. Their estate was completely fine. Wild was also completely fine and eating till he was full every day. This let Long Chen relax. He changed his clothes and prepared to go to the Alchemist Guild to request help from Grandmaster Yun Qi. But Long Chen was somewhat nervous. Ordinary alchemists focused on cultivating the pill flame and didn't split their attention to battle skills. This was to concentrate all of one's energy and effort, so that one could travel further on the pill path. Alchemists were normally completely arrogant and didn't care to bother with martial cultivation. That was also what Grandmaster Yun Qi had reminded Long Chen of that day. But Long Chen had his own thoughts on the subject. He had been bullied for too long, and without powerful martial strength, he simply didn't feel safe. No matter what status or position, it was all nothing to Long Chen. In the face of true power, such things were as weak as a piece of paper. Long Chen didn't know just how Grandmaster Yun Qi would react when he saw him. Long Chen. Long Chen had already walked several blocks in his nervousness when suddenly warm shout rang out. Turning his head, he saw a carriage had stopped in the distance. Opening the cover was a young woman who happily looked at Long Chen. It was the Imperial Princess Chu Yao. Chu Yao. Long Chen couldn't help being a bit alarmed to see Chu Yao, but for some reason, after a moment of looking at her, most of his anxiousness disappeared. Chu Yao looked around, seeing that no one was around due to how early it was. She beckoned. Quick, get in. Long Chen hadn't expected Chu Yao to actually invite him to share a carriage. Seeing her bright smile, Long Chen's heart jumped slightly and he leaped onto the carriage. The inside of the carriage was exceptionally spacious. Other than a bed, it also had a tea table with blankets laid out. How coincidental to see you here. How about you come with me to Sunset Mountain? Chu Yao's pretty gaze at Long Chen was filled with joy. A complete opposite to her original ruthless and crafty one when she had first captured him. With such a beautiful woman inviting me, I'm afraid I'd be struck by heavenly lightning if I refused. Laughed Long Chen. Chu Yao's charming face reddened. Within the palace, she had many rules and restrictions she had to follow. She truly enjoyed Long Chen's carefree and unfettered way of talking. The carriage slowly left the city toward Sunset Mountain. Chu Yao, why are you going to Sunset Mountain? Asked Long Chen. I, I just want to play around. For some reason, Chu Yao's face became extremely red, confusing Long Chen. I'm not taking you away from something important am I? Probed Chu Yao. Me? I just came out for a stroll. For me to coincide with your carriage and come out to have fun is perfect. Smiled Long Chen. Right. Is your little brother fine? I really am sorry about what happened last time. Long Chen still felt a bit embarrassed about what had happened with the seventh prince. He's fine. Scaring him a bit is good too. It'll keep him better behaved. Laughed Chu Yao. In just a short time, they arrived at the foot of Sunset Mountain. Chu Yao got off and ordered her bodyguard to drive the carriage back. Accompany me. I really like the scenery around here. Chu Yao pointed to the small path in front of them. When I was young, I frequently came here to climb this mountain. But ever since my father entered seclusion, I haven't had many such opportunities. A pitiful trace of loneliness appeared on her face when she said this. Long Chen couldn't help but sigh. No matter where you were born, there was always much to be desired. 
Long Chen, what's wrong? Chu Yao asked when she saw that Long Chen seemed moody. His heart warmed due to Chu Yao's concern. He didn't know why, but although he had only met Chu Yao once, he still felt a complicated emotion upon seeing her. Perhaps, it stemmed from not knowing if she was an enemy, but she gave him a very trustworthy feeling that he couldn't explain. I did run into a bit of trouble recently. I was hoping to cultivate a higher grade battle skill. If you want to cultivate battle skills, then just come to find me. I won't even charge tuition fees. Joked Chu Yao, her eyes brightening. I'm already proficient in 30 types of battle skills. They say that I'm a peak talent. Proficient in 30 battle skills? And then using only one attack the same way over and over again? Long Chen couldn't help being a bit doubtful. Hey, what kind of look is that? You doubt me? A hint of anger appeared on Chu Yao's face. No, I don't doubt you. I don't believe it at all. Joked Long Chen. You scoundrel. Look, with a cute cry, Chu Yao sent a palm towards Long Chen. Chu Yao's palm landed on Long Chen's stomach. Although she hadn't used any spiritual energy, the force behind it wasn't small. When it landed on his body, it still emitted a loud bang. You, why didn't you dodge? She hadn't expected him to just take the blow. If I dodged, you wouldn't have hit me. That'd be boring, laughed Long Chen. Although the hand was separated from him with a layer of clothing, he could still feel a peculiar feeling from it. Long Chen, seeing his straightforward smile, she felt a burst of warmth. She actually gently laid her head on Long Chen's chest. Long Chen's body immediately went rigid. What kind of situation was this? Long Chen didn't dare move an inch, turning into a stump of wood. Chu Yao's face suddenly turned warm, and seeing his nervous expression, she covered a smile. You bad person, back then when you were fighting, you were like a tiger bearing its fangs. How come you've become a little kitten now? Long Chen immediately felt awkward and changed the subject. Chu Yao, I don't want to treat you like a stranger. I really do feel that you need to learn a few higher grade battle skills. Chu Yao's face reddened, and she blankly stared at Long Chen. If he didn't want to treat her as a stranger, then what did he want to treat her as? She clearly had misunderstood Long Chen's meaning. But in response to Long Chen's seriousness, Chu Yao was also resolute. I wasn't joking. I really am proficient in many battle skills. Look, she extended a hand and a scorching air rose out. A faint red light appeared over her hand. She sent her palm into a tree over a foot thick and it trembled. Its leaves flying. When she removed her palm, a faint handprint could be seen on it. Did you see? This is a high mortal class battle skill. Flamma Cloud Palm. How is it? Are you scared? Chu Yao was pleased with Long Chen's stupefied expression. Long Chen truly was shocked. This kind of power could still be considered a battle skill? Even without a battle skill, Long Chen could easily topple such a tree in one blow. Aha, uh -huh. it really was good to look at. Quickly replied Long Chen. Chu Yao's movements had been very fluid and smooth, which really was pleasing to look at. Chu Yao didn't appear to catch his other meaning and thought that he meant she had shocked him. She very patiently explained to Long Chen the main points of her attack. But when Long Chen heard her explanation on how to use the Flamma Cloud Palm, Long Chen was truly shocked. Based on what she said, then in theory, it was clearly an extremely powerful palm technique. Let me try it. So quickly, Chu Yao asked in disbelief. Long Chen smiled slightly. Battle skills were just a way to use spiritual energy. Through the superposition within the meridians, they could emit a powerful strength. That was all. Long Chen was already as familiar as possible with his body's meridians, so hearing her explain at once was enough for him. His Danchen's spiritual energy circulated and a dense fiery energy erupted out. Long Chen shouted out and sent a palm crashing forward. Boom. A huge tree, which would require several people to wrap around it, snapped, its crown whistling as it fell. The huge tree smashed into the ground, sending dirt flying. Chu Yao was staring blankly. Was this really the same flamma cloud palm as hers? The spot where the tree had broken was completely scorched. A specific mark of the flamma cloud palm. Long Chen nodded inside. It truly was worthy of being a high mortal class battle skill. Its power was extremely great. But seeing Chu Yao beside him filled with shock, Long Chen's heart shook and he grabbed Chu Yao's hand. Chu Yao, let me examine your body. Chapter 28 The Secret Behind the Princess Translator Born to be having her slender hand suddenly grabbed by Long Chen, Chu Yao's pretty body shook and two red spots appeared over her cheeks. A bit of panic flashed over her eyes but she didn't take her hand away. She secretly glanced at Long Chen and realized that he was actually a bit puzzled. 
When Long Chen glanced up at Chu Yao's face, he momentarily forgot what he was doing. She was like a blooming flower with eyes like sparkling jewels, and it was simply impossible not to be moved by her beauty. Cough. Chu Yao became even redder when Long Chen just foolishly looked at her, but within her beautiful eyes was happiness as well. With a cough, she turned her head down and didn't dare to look at Long Chen again. Only the gentle warmth transmitted from his hand continued to warm her heart. Taking a deep breath, Long Chen calmed himself back down. She had an air of being too high to reach, and yet, also a contradicting gentle softness of a woman. The Chu Yao who had arrogantly captured him in a net and the current gentle and shy Chu Yao were completely different. Suppressing his wildly jumping heart, Long Chen used his spiritual strength to follow along the meridians within Chu Yao's hand and slowly enter into her dantian. Actually, with Long Chen's strength, at such proximity, it was entirely possible for him to examine Chu Yao without touching her. But doing so would mean that Chu Yao would be essentially naked in front of Long Chen. Maybe Long Chen wasn't so against that, but he was afraid that afterward, she might once again capture him inside a net. Long Chen's spiritual strength gently entered into her dantian, but when he saw what was going on, even with his self-control, he couldn't help having his expression turn ugly. What is it? Chu Yao was alarmed at his dark gaze. Long Chen's anger was due to the fact that nine types of foreign spiritual energy were currently locked and fixed within her dantian. Those nine foreign spiritual energies were like nine saplings planted into a fertile farm. They were incessantly absorbing Chu Yao's spiritual energy away, leaving her with only a fraction for her own use. No wonder her spiritual energy was so frail and disorderly. So she was just like Long Chen and had been schemed against by others. Even more infuriating was that there was a spirit root that released a dense key. Although he wasn't sure what level she was at, Long Chen knew she was definitely a rare genius seen only once in a thousand years. Such a genius had been wasted away like this, but just this wouldn't have aroused Long Chen's killing intent. Long Chen had found that those nine foreign spiritual energies were following along her spirit route, and in the future, when she married and lost her virginity, the spiritual energy that had been absorbed by them for years would be silently snatched away. That was the most hateful thing. A princess of this generation, a beauty that could topple cities, had been used by someone as a chiss piece. This was clearly the result of some sort of scheme. And as for Chu Yao, she didn't seem to know anything about it. Long Chen couldn't help feeling empathy for this beautiful woman. Long Chen, what's going on? His expression was complicated, and Chu Yao was somewhat alarmed by it. Chu Yao, do you trust me? Long Chen hesitated for a moment before solemnly asking her this. Seeing his extremely serious manner, Chu Yao also sensed something, but she didn't hesitate. Looking Long Chen in the eyes, she said, You are the person I trust the most. Long Chen heart warmed. Your dantian has been altered by others, but what surprised Long Chen was that Chu Yao didn't have that great of a reaction. Helplessness appeared in her sad eyes. Looking at the distant mountain peaks, her jade hands gently brushed back her hair that was blown wild by the wind. She quietly said, If you say the secret out loud, you might be implicated with the people from my family. Are you not afraid? You already knew. Can you answer me first? Asked Chu Yao. Long Chen bitterly smiled. Since we've chosen to trust each other, then even if I were to lose my life, it would be worth it. Trust? Trust. Chu Yao mumbled that word over and over. She suddenly threw herself at Long Chen's chest and began to weep loudly. Her tears flowed out as if a dam had been broken, as if she wanted all her grievances to be swept away. Despite having such a beautiful woman in his arms, Long Chen didn't have the slightest intention of being charming. Instead, his heart was also filled with a kind of mourning. Long Chen had been even worse off than Chu Yao. His spirit root, spirit bone, and spirit blood had all been stolen. If he hadn't suddenly fused with the pill god soul, he would perhaps still be completely in the dark. At some point, his arms had wrapped around her slender waist and tightly hugged her, smelling the scent of her hair. It felt as if they were the last two people on earth. After crying for forever, Chu Yao finally stopped her sobbing. Long Chen's chest was already completely wet from her tears. Her face suddenly turned completely red, and she quickly escaped Long Chen's embrace. She turned away from him, but inside, she was filled with both happiness and hesitation. Long Chen awkwardly coughed and asked, Chu Yao, when did you learn that your dantian had been tampered with? Chu Yao slowly recovered herself and turned back to look at him. When I was young and before my father, the emperor, entered seclusion, he told me I was this generation's martial cultivation genius and might even be able to ascend beyond the empire. 
Before he entered seclusion, I was greatly encouraged to cultivate, and I truly did work hard at the beginning. But when I turned 10, my mother suddenly became sick. She turned gravely ill, and before we could even invite Grandmaster Yun Ki, she had already left this world. Arriving at this point in her story, her tears once more began to slowly flow out. She seemed to have sunk back into her memories of that time. At that time, my little brother and I were still young, but as we grew older, we gradually learned about the palace's internal struggles. I realized my mother's death was definitely no accident, but all the evidence had long since disappeared. I was powerless. Then, five years ago, my cultivation base ceased to progress. No matter how hard I tried, I was unable to advance a single step, and my spiritual energy became weaker and weaker. At that time, I realized that the villain who had killed my mother had finally stretched his hand towards me and my brother. From that day onwards, my brother and I started to act bossy and arrogant. We started making headstrong, rash decisions, and from that time, it seems as if everything went back to normal. Long Chen felt completely helpless as he listened to her story. The palace's internal affairs were even crueler than what he had imagined. You used such a method to protect you and your brother, sighed Long Chen. Chu Yao nodded. The only family I have left right now is my little brother. I just hope he can stay alive. Although having him to act this way is annoying, at least no one will menace him, so it should be a bit safer. Although I don't know what they did to my Danshan, I know they were afraid I would be a threat to them, and so they restricted my cultivation. Thus, as long as I don't have the heart to cultivate, no one will have any plans against a weak girl like me. My brother and I also will be able to live without worry, Long Chen sighed. Unfortunately, you've underestimated your enemy's viciousness. Whoever did this was an absolute bastard. Hesitating for a moment, Long Chen still decided to tell Chu Yao the situation within her danshan. Hearing this, anger and indecisiveness flared in her eyes. Her face turned pale and her body shook. Long Chen supported Chu Yao, saying, You don't need to be too worried. Give me some time, and I can unlock the seal within your body. Really Chu Yao couldn't believe this. Really promised Long Chen. For some reason, when Chu Yao looked at Long Chen, she was filled with trust. It was a kind of indescribable feeling. He gave her a sense of complete safety. This kind of feeling was extremely precious and rare within the palace that was full of hidden schemes. Seeing that she didn't have any hesitation or doubt in him, Long Chen sighed, feeling as if another burden had been placed on his shoulders. Oh beautiful Chu Yao, can you display some of your magnificent skills for me again? Let this little one study a bit. Long Chen found that the atmosphere had become a bit depressed. So he joked a bit. Scoundrel, you're clearly mocking me. She rebuked. Oh heavens no. Your foundation is extremely strong. It's just that your danshan is unable to release enough force. But don't worry. In just a short time, I'll help you resolve it. Consoled Long Chen. Only when she judged Long Chen's words to be sincere did she once more display a high mortal class battle skill. Breaking wind fist. Long Chen carefully examined her this time, and couldn't help but to feel some shock. Her spiritual energy was constantly being sucked away by those nine spiritual energies, leaving her with perhaps a tenth of the energy. But even with such a frail energy, Chu Yao's display was completely perfect without the slightest energy wasted. He realized her control with spiritual energy had reached an extremely high level. It was much greater than even blood condensation experts. He was not at all miserly with his praise of her causing her to happily blush. The nine foreign spiritual energies were actually seeds of spiritual energy. After having absorbed her spiritual energy for so many years, they had already become very powerful. Long Chen felt that if he were to just break them, it would be too wasteful. That kind of huge energy was enough to allow Chu Yao to break through to the blood condensation realm, and her cultivation base would continue climbing after. After learning the breaking wind fist, he suddenly took out a bottle of medicinal liquid. This is face-changing liquid. Once you apply it to your face, it will change your appearance for 24 hours. It's very convenient. He poured out a few drops and rubbed it over his face. In just an instant, he appeared to become a completely different person, his eyebrows becoming thicker and his skin changing shade. Chu Yao exclaimed, Then in the future, I can change my appearance and come out to find you. She then also applied it over her face. The medicinal liquid became a thin layer over the face that could be changed at will for a while. Once no more changes were made to it, it would completely set in just a few breaths time. Looking into her mirror and seeing that her face had become extremely ordinary, she couldn't help jumping in joy. 
Pulling Long Chen's arm, she happily said, Long Chen, let's go stroll the streets. I've never been allowed to just walk along the streets. Amongst princesses, she was one of those unruly types, but she still wouldn't go too far. She normally couldn't act like the ordinary poor people and just go as she pleased. So, she naturally couldn't let go of this chance Long Chen had given her. Chu Yao intimately held on to his arm. Seeing her excited manner, it would be a lie to say Long Chen wasn't moved. He straight away agreed to go with her. But after agreeing, Long Chen started to regret it. He had clearly underestimated Chu Yao's desire to stroll the streets. She practically pulled him through every small alley within the capital. She wanted to see everything and anything. And she even shot question after question to him. He was quite happy to just smell her scent and feel the joy of her hand wrapped around his arm. But suddenly he stopped, bringing Chu Yao to a small vendor to the side. Long Chen struck up a fake conversation with the vendor about his wares, but his gaze narrowed towards several people in the distance. Xia Changfang, Chapter 29 Long Chen's Shock Translator Born to be there were around seven or eight people in that group, and Long Chen could clearly see that the Grand Xia's Prince Xia Changfeng was amongst them. But what shocked Long Chen the most was that familiar face beside him. That woman was very slender and fair, but her face always had a faint arrogance on it. It was the crazy woman Long Chen had encountered at the Alchemist Guild. Why was she there? And why did she seem so familiar with the Grand Xia's prince? Long Chen simply couldn't figure it out. Their group entered an expensive tea house just after he noticed them. One of those people is the fourth prince. Chu Yao warned Long Chen as she had also seen those people. The fourth prince. He was supposed to be the most low-key prince. He never participated in the internal fights of the princes. But then why was he with the Grand Xia's prince? He has also changed his appearance. But his finger has a ring mark on it that he forgot to hide. He normally wears a dragon ring with a very distinctive pattern. So I easily recognize it, said Chu Yao. As a princess, she might have to act arrogant every day. But she was also very perceptive to the everyday habits of each prince. Thus, she was easily able to see through the fourth prince's disguise. Long Chen felt a headache coming. Why would the fourth prince disguise himself? He wanted to sneak in and use his divine sense to secretly eavesdrop. However, the door was guarded by a dozen of the Grand Xia's elite troops. Doing so would simply be too difficult. It was in the middle of the day, and trying to sneak in would be basically impossible. He gave up on that idea. Chu Yao, I'm going to go back and prepare some ingredients that will resolve the foreign spiritual energies in your Danton, said Long Chen. Despite being reluctant to part, she still obediently nodded her head. Long Chen went directly home. As soon as he walked past the gate, a happy shout rang out. Brother Long, Wild was a small giant now, and he excitedly looked at Long Chen. The current Wild had become much livelier, and the thing that pleased Long Chen the most was that he was no longer as thin as he had been before. His bare arms were clearly bigger, and some indistinct veins could be seen beneath the skin. Haha, <laughs> have you been eating properly Wild? Long Chen patted his sturdy arm. Brother Long, I eat till I'm full every day. I feel like I've become very strong now. Thus, I want to be with Brother Long so that I can protect you. Wild slapped his chest confidently, emitting a sound like a thunderous drum. Long Chen nodded and brought Wild into his own room. He then used his divine sense to examine Wild's body. What? Despite nourishing them all this time and feeding them so much, still less than 10% of Wild cells were active. And when he examined his four meridians, he noticed they had expanded a little. But most shocking of all was that there was what seemed to be a trace of spiritual key within his danshan. You learned how to cultivate, asked Long Chen. Brother Long, what is this cultivating? Asked Wild with wide eyes. Ah, uh, never mind. Long Chen also didn't feel like trying to explain such a thing. Continuing his examination, he noticed that Wild's danshan was deathly still. But there was still a steady flow of the world's spiritual key that was flowing into his danshan. What an abnormal constitution. Even without cultivating, it just automatically absorbs energy on its own. Long Chen sucked in a breath of cold air. This was something he had never encountered before. Wild's Danshan held a huge amount of spiritual key, which meant that once his body was strong enough, he would be able to automatically absorb spiritual key from heaven and earth to use. If other martial artists were to learn of this, they would definitely go crazy. This meant that even when Wild was sleeping or eating, he would still be incessantly cultivating. Wild, I'm going to teach you a few simple cultivation methods and how to use your Danshan's key. Due to how unique Wild's Danshan was, 
Long Chen decided not to teach him any battle skills. Wild only had four meridians, which meant that he wouldn't be able to use any battle skills for now. So Long Chen only taught him how to circulate a spiritual key to his arms and legs, passively increasing their strength. But Long Chen had still overestimated Wild's ability comprehension skills. Even something as simple as linking to his Danchen required six hours of Long Chen's time to explain. Despite having Long Chen's throat turn raw, Wild was still mystified. Long Chen knew he couldn't get angry. Wild was listening to him completely innocently, so his belly full of anger was never released. Okay, how about this? Until you learn this, I'll work you to death. Long Chen helplessly sighed. I'm sorry brother Long, I'm just too stupid. I could spend a lifetime without figuring this out. Wild dejectedly hung his head. Wild truly was too incompetent. He was unable to immerse himself even slightly within his danshan. He couldn't even find where his danshan was. Long Chen was unwilling to resign himself to this result. Wild's physique was so powerful that it was frightening. If he had the assistance of his spiritual key, the power which he could explode out with would be absolutely terrifying. Long Chen felt that it was such a waste. He felt like a beggar who had a mountain of gold, yet still relied on begging to pass each day. Suddenly, Long Chen's eyes brightened. Placing his hand on Wild's back, he said, Let me help you find your danshan. His spiritual strength poured into Wild's danshan. Since Wild trusted Long Chen completely, there wasn't the slightest resistance. Long Chen easily merged his spiritual strength into Wild's danshan. Furthermore, even if Wild had wanted to resist, he didn't know how to. But at least now Wild had found the position of his danshan. Now that you've found your danshan, the next step is to immerse into it. Immerse. Use your intent to hook yourself into your danshan. Intent. Long Chen sighed. But he still patiently controlled his temper. Focus your entire mind onto your danshan. Oh, then what? Try to make it revolve. Clockwise or counterclockwise. Long Chen was practically speechless. It doesn't matter. As long as it circulates, it's fine. Now that he had found its position, Wild slowly tried to control his danshan. However, it was as if the danshan weren't even his and he was unable to move it at all. You're not focused enough. Close your eyes and try again. Finally. Under Long Chen's great expectations, Wild's Danshan moved slightly. Although doing just that wasn't exactly using his Danshan, at least, he had found it and opened the path. Long Chen relaxed slightly. Good. Next I'll use my spiritual strength to guide your Danshan's key for one cycle. Remember how I'm doing this. After saying this, Long Chen's spiritual strength circulated into Wild's Danshan. When Wild's Danshan felt Long Chen's spiritual strength, it was as if it had been provoked and it immediately exploded out. The originally completely calm Danshan immediately was like an erupting volcano, like angry waves trying to swallow the sky. Wild, can you control your Danshan? Long Chen started to celebrate. But, no, I don't know what happened. Wild was completely shocked at the uprising of the spiritual key within him. Don't be afraid. Remember the path I'm taking. Long Chen didn't feel like telling him the position of each one of his acupuncture points. He wouldn't be able to remember them anyways. So he skipped that. Having him remember the feeling of where they were was good enough. Long Chen used his spiritual strength to draw Wild's Danshan's key into his arm. Long Chen wanted to go slowly and circulate it. How could he have predicted that as soon as Wild's key reached his arm, it became like a wild horse and refused to be controlled by Long Chen anymore. Wild energy surged out. Wild felt a great power pass through his arm. So he instinctively punched out. Boom. The entire roof was shaken into pieces. Smoke and dust exploded out, revealing the starry sky above. What a berserk energy. Long Chen was extremely alarmed. All this had just been caused by the wind from Wild's fist, but it was already so frightening. If someone was hit by the actual fist, wouldn't they be smashed into pulp? Wild was also stupefied at his own power. He had never thought he would have such strength. Long Chen once more examined Wild's Danshan and found that the spiritual key within had basically all been depleted. Wild, go back and rest. Remember what I've taught you and train every day. Don't goof off, ordered Long Chen solemnly. Wild's comprehension skills were already extremely low. If he was lazy as well, then even a divine immortal would be unable to teach him. Don't worry brother Long, I'll train like my life depends on it. Wild was filled with excitement now. After Wild left. Long Chen speechlessly looked at the roofless room. Just what secret was hidden within Wild's body? That fist had even shocked Long Chen. If that long eyebrow blood condensation expert was hit by it, it was doubtless that he would die. But right now, 
90% of wild cells were still dormant. If they were all awoken, even Long Chen would feel tremendous fear. But thinking about Wild's simple and honest nature, Long Chen shook his head. Wild was his brother, and the stronger he was, the better. There was no need to worry. Taking out a piece of paper, he wrote down a list of 48 names of medicinal ingredients. Starfusing pill, a second-tier medicinal pill. Right now, I have no way of refining an upper-grade second-tier medicinal pill. Looks like I can only go to Grandmaster Yan Qi. But first I need to collect all the medicinal ingredients. According to Long Chen's recollections, the starfusing pill should be able to resolve the foreign spiritual energies within Chu Yao's body, but it had to be an upper-grade pill. The current Long Chen's pill flame was too weak. Despite how much talent he had in that regard, it was impossible for him to refine a high-grade second-tier pill with such a pill flame. The next day, Long Chen left his house. Arriving at the Alchemist Guild storeroom, he handed his list over. What was outside Long Chen's expectations was that all the ingredients could be found here except one of the main ingredients, the starfusing grass. Starfusing grass was an extremely precious treasure. It was something that could be used to refine many second-tier pills. And in fact, most second-tier pills actually required it in their pill formula, making it always in short supply. Long Chen nodded. Only missing one ingredient was already better than what Long Chen had expected. Collecting his ingredients and leaving the alchemist guild, Long Chen suddenly saw a certain figure. A slightly cruel smile appeared on his mouth. Chapter 30 Stubborn Till Death Translator Born to be the one in front of him was the person who had been beaten almost to pulp by Long Chen. Zhao Yeo Yang. Martial artists truly did have a tenacious life force. Last time, he had been beaten so badly, but now he seemed totally fine. The Zhao family truly was willing to spend money on their son. Almost every single bone had been broken in his body. It was only by spending a great amount of gold coins that he was pulled back from the gates of hell. But even with the Zhao family's financial resources, his wounds had still been extremely severe. He had come to the guild today to ask for powerful recovery pills. Currently, he was still extremely weak. Ever since he had been beaten, for some reason he would always start to hallucinate in the middle of the night. Countless demons would plague him, and now he didn't even dare sleep with the lights off. And furthermore, every morning he would feel his soul ache as if needles were stabbing into him, paining him so badly that he could only roll on the ground. But the alchemists of the guild couldn't find any reason for this suffering despite examining him multiple times. They could only conclude that it was due to a deficit in key within him, so they had to first restore his body. But even after half a month passed, he hadn't improved in that regard in the slightest. The symptoms actually worsened, and even if he didn't fall asleep, he would see countless demons demanding his life. And as for the pain in his soul in the morning, it was no longer needles, but a blazing flame roasting him, making it so painful he wished he could die. The current Cao Yeo Yang was extremely emaciated, and his complexion was turning yellow, a large difference from his old confident and easy self. Cao Yeo Yang, it's been a while. How have you been recently? Long Chen smiled as if he were blessing him and cupped his hands in greeting. As soon as Cao Yeo Yang saw Long Chen, it was as if he had seen a ghost and his face turned deathly pale. Long Chen, you, how are you? You don't look so good. It really makes me uneasy. I'm just worried about you. How are the demons at night and the soul roasting in the morning? Asked Long Chen. You, you, how do you know about that? Could it be? It was you. Cao Yeo Yang's eyes were filled with alarm. He suddenly remembered the medicinal pill Long Chen had fed him after beating him. According to the Alchemist Guild, it had been a pill to protect the organs and its effect was to make sure that he wouldn't die for a while despite his internal organ failure. But Cao Yeo Yang always felt that something was wrong with that incident, and hearing Long Chen's words today, he immediately suspected that pill. Long Chen, those ghosts were definitely yours. You despicable bastard. Cao Yeo Yang bitterly exclaimed his resentment. Thinking about the pain he had been going through these days, he angrily shouted and charged at Long Chen. A simple slap landed on his face. The force behind it wasn't too great and it only sent him flying. Despicable? You dare call me that? No matter how despicable I am, it's not even a hundredth of how bad you are. Tell me, just how many despicable methods have you used against me over these years? Long Chen lightly waved his hand and indifferently said, You yourself don't even remember anymore. Being cruel will always have a reprisal. Now that I'm stronger, am I supposed to not get a bit of revenge? The slap on his face completely sobered Cao Yeo Yang. Despite recuperating from his wounds these days, 
he hadn't stopped getting information about Long Chen. The fact that Long Chen had beaten an imperial bodyguard of the Grand Xia's prince had completely shaken the capital. That was a true expert in the blood condensation realm. In terms of martial might, Zhao Yao Yang was no longer a match for Long Chen. In terms of status, Long Chen was a Grand Pill apprentice, and he was even less comparable to him. Zhao Yao Yang couldn't help being suspicious of what the alchemists at the guild had told him. The alchemist guild should be fully aware of all of Long Chen's methods, so they should have been able to cure him. Instead, they had let him suffer endless torment, but he didn't know that he had misjudged the guild. Long Chen had applied a bit of ghost-seeking liquid adopt the medicinal pill. Other than Grand Master Yan Qi, no one else in the guild would be able to figure that out. Obviously, the savage Marquis had no way of inviting someone as grand as Yan Qi, let alone him. Even a prince didn't have that capability. Long Chen, what do you want in order to let me free? Zhao Yao Yang ground his teeth. Zhao Yao Yang, what happened to all the unyielding courage of yours? You tormented me for so many years but I never gave in to you. Now, things have only turned to my side for such a short time. If you want to stop now, it's already too late. Gotta follow the rules of the game, indifferently said Long Chen. He then turned to leave. You really won't let me off. If you want to escape the depths of misery, it's very simple. Take your sword and pull it against your neck. It only hurts for a second and then you'll be free. Don't beg me for help. Zhao Yao Yang was so furious his entire body shook. When he was haunted by ghosts and his soul scorched, he truly did want to use death to free himself of the pain. But as soon as that moment passed, he returned to be a normal person and was full of longing towards life. That was the reason why he couldn't even kill himself. If he chose life, it was misery. If he chose death, he was unable to go through with it. Zhao Yao Yang was about to collapse. He didn't have the courage to kill himself. But if it continued like this, he'd go crazy. Zhao Yao Yang ground his teeth and actually knelt on the ground. Long Chen, I beg you. I admit defaturing Long Chen's hatred no longer burned as intensely as it had before. The current Long Chen was high and far above Zhao Yao Yang, and they were no longer on the same level. He didn't place a small ant within his eyes. Long Chen wasn't a priest who would repay enmity with kindness. But looking at Zhao Yao Yang's miserable state, most of his anger faded. And it was also perfect since Long Chen was wishing to hear some secrets from him. Just as he reached his hand to rub his spatial ring, Long Chen's spiritual strength suddenly noticed that Zhao Yao Yang was secretly clenching his fists and was filled with bitter resentment. Long Chen quietly muttered to himself for a moment before he coldly smiled. A medicinal pill appeared out of his spatial ring, and he threw it directly to Zhao Yao Yang. This medicinal pill is for you. I hope you won't be enemies with me in the future. Otherwise, you'll regret it for a lifetime. Long Chen then left. Zhao Yao Yang waited until Long Chen was far away before getting up. Looking at his distant figure, he narrowed his eyes. Long Chen, if I don't let you die a miserable death, then I wouldn't be Zhao Yao Yang. He wasn't afraid of Long Chen poisoning him because there were several people in the distance who had seen what had just happened. If he really did die from this medicinal pill, Long Chen wouldn't be able to escape punishment. Therefore, he swallowed the medicinal pill confidently. The next day, Zhao Yao Yang was overjoyed to find that his night terrors were gone, and he no longer had to suffer the feeling of his soul burning every morning. He coldly sneered inside. Long Chen, just wait. The next time I take action, I'll be taking your life in one fell swoop. At that time, the person who will be regretful is you. Back when Long Chen saw Zhao Yao Yang eat it, he also had sneered. You really are too evil to live. I actually wanted to spare your life, but unfortunately, you're courting disaster. Brother Long, Long Chen had been just walking along the road when someone suddenly called out to him. He turned to see that it was Fatty Yu. He was amazed to find that he had actually reached the third vestige of key condensation. Due to his cultivation, his originally fat build now appeared to be sturdy and strong. Fatty, you're not bad. You've already reached the third vestige of key condensation, smiled Long Chen. He... This is all because of Brother Long, he somewhat bashfully said. Brother Long, I was just thinking about going over to pay a visit to you. What do you need? No, no, it's just that since I've broken through to the third heaven stage, I feel like I should celebrate. Look at what Shi Feng did. I can't be too shameful in comparison right, said Fatty Yu. He advanced to the blood condensation realm while you are just at the third heaven stage of key condensation. Why does there need to be some grand celebration? laughed Long Chen. Haha, those aren't the same. 
I couldn't even cultivate before. So the celebration this time is definitely on the same level as Shi Fang's. Earnestly said Fatty Yu. Well, when my bros invite me to drink, I can't possibly say no. Let's go. Yes, perfect. I've already ordered a feast and we're only lacking you. The restaurant Fatty Yu brought him to was in the southern side of the city. Although it wasn't as famous as the one Shi Feng had brought them to, it wasn't that much worse. When Long Chen entered, he saw that Fatty Yu had told the truth. Shi Feng, Xiao Hao, and the others were already there. Haha, <laughs> Brother Long has finally arrived. Long Chen also laughed. He greeted everyone, and as soon as he sat down, the food and drinks were brought out. Today is to celebrate my advancement to the third heaven stage. I've finally taken the first step of my cultivation path, and a bright future has been opened in front of me. This toast is for Long Chen. Everyone loudly praised him. They were all people whose fates had changed only because of Long Chen. Long Chen also didn't stand on ceremony and drank a large cup of alcohol in one go. Everyone was friends, so there was no need to restrain oneself and everyone drank copiously. Other than Shi Feng and Fatty Yu, the rest of them had yet to advance past the first heaven stage of key condensation. Heroic spirits they had, but a high tolerance of alcohol they did not. After just a few cups, a lot of mouths became unguarded. Brother Long, it's like you're a martial god from the heavens, an unparalleled genius amongst men. We're all wondering just what kind of woman is suitable for you, asked someone with the help of the alcohol. Before Long Chen could even answer, Xiao Hao followed up. He, at the very least, it's gotta be a princess. As for looks, it's got to be a beauty capable of captivating the birds and beasts, eclipsing the moon and shaming flowers. And as for cultivation level, that's whatever. In any case, no one dares bully brother Long. Even the Grand Zaya's prince is not someone he is afraid of. So his future wife doesn't need to be so strong. Haha, <laughs> right. In our Phoenix Cry Empire, the only one who fits those criteria the best is the third princess, said Fatty Yu, his eyes lighting up. I've seen the third princess before, and although she's beautiful, that kind of temperament is terrifying. Normal people wouldn't be able to handle it, sighed someone else. TCH, that's because she still hasn't met Brother Long. Even a tiger will become a kitten in front of Brother Long. Long Chen was speechless. When they raised the topic of the third princess, the beautiful image of Chu Yao appeared in his mind. He couldn't help but to feel some pity. Chu Yao was actually a gentle-hearted woman. But in order to protect herself, she had had to act arrogant and rude to the world. Thinking about the time they'd had together, a warm feeling filled him. At the same time, he felt awkward inside. Wasn't talking about things like this unworthy of Chu Yao? Long Chen was in the middle of thinking that over when a woman's cold laugh rang out. You outrageous peasants really do think of the craziest things. Is the third princess someone you are capable of discussing? Chapter 31 Another Clash Translator Born to be everyone's expressions changed when they heard those words. Fatty you cursed. What idiot woman is that? Get out for daddy. Just as he finished speaking, a table whistled over from the corridor, smashing towards them. But it suddenly stopped in midair. Long Chen had grabbed it, and with a flick of his hand, he sent it flying back. A woman had just walked out over there. She had a disdainful expression and that table had clearly been thrown by her. To actually first throw a table to smash them and then walk out. What a lofty manner, but she hadn't expected that the table she had thrown would actually be smashing back at her with over ten times the force. Just the gale force created by the table made it hard for her to breath. It had happened too quickly, and it was already too late for her to dodge. If she was hit by it, she would definitely end up with some broken bones. The table suddenly blew apart. A man with a blade scar appeared in everyone's eyes as he protected the woman. When everyone saw him, their expressions once more changed as they recognized him as the personal bodyguard of the Grand Zaya's prince. The scarred man was startled to see Long Chen and he narrowed his eyes, saying, I didn't expect to run into you again so soon. Although he had managed to break that table apart, he had not managed to completely disperse the force. A heavy footprint was left on the floor, showing that he had misjudged Long Chen's strength. No way around it. I am a young person after all. Gotta act energetically and move forward bit by bit every day. I can't compare to someone as amazing as yourself who has already planted himself down and no longer moves forward. I, however, still have a long path to travel, he indifferently said. The scarred man's face darkened, and he was just about to reply when another voice rang out. Haha, <laughs> it's been a couple of days, but Brother Long is still as suave as ever. The Grand Zaya's prince, 
Xia Changfen slowly walked up with the same likable smiling face he had used before. Xia Changfen smiled. It's just a misunderstanding. Let me introduce you to my sister, Xia Beichi. Long Chen's jaw dropped. So this crazy woman was actually a princess. So this was the reason Grandmaster Yun Qi had told him to be careful around her. HMPH. Now you know how great the difference between us is. Xia Beichi sneered at Long Chen's shock. He shook his head. Yes, we really are quite different. Even if I trained for 10,000 years, I wouldn't be comparable to an idiot like you. Xia Beichi. What a great name. One. You. Her eyes practically spit out flames. Not only Xia Beichi, but even Xia Changfeng's eyes turned cold for a moment before he smiled. Okay, now that everyone knows each other, I wonder what you were talking about before for it to get this lively. Fatty you and the others were naturally a bit uncomfortable with the Grand Xia's prince here. After all, he was a prince, and the difference in status was too great. They weren't as obstinate as Long Chen and didn't dare say anything out of place to him. They were all silent for a moment. Xia Beichi sneered. I heard these toads insulting the third princess and talking about who she would marry. But funnily none of them knew my brother has already given a betrothal gift to the Empress Dowager to win the third princess over. For these guys to put their sights on my brother's fianke, they really are courting death. Long Chen's expression changed at that news. He coldly asked Xia Changfang, is this true? Long Chen, control your attitude, warned the scarred man. No matter, Xia Changfang waved his hands at the scarred man. He smiled at Long Chen. The reason I came to the Phoenix Cry Empire this time was because my father ordered me to propose to the third princess. Since the Empress Dowager has already agreed, we should be able to quickly set a date. If Brother Long has time in the future, I invite you to come to my Grand Xia for the wedding feast. Who knew whether Xia Changfen was doing it on purpose, but his expression towards Long Chen was one of a victor looking pitifully on the loser. Did he know? Long Chen couldn't help being worried despite knowing that Xia Changfen was purposely provoking him, but his anger still rose up uncontrollably. Maybe if he was doing this without knowing the truth then it would be fine. But Long Chen knew that there was a conspiracy around Chu Yao. Those foreign spiritual energies within her were seeds of energy waiting to be reaped. It appeared someone had come to finally harvest them now that they were ripe. Although the person who had set them in place wasn't Xia Changfeng, he was the one benefiting from it. So he was definitely a participant. He must know many secrets. Thinking about his own experiences, he wondered whether his situation had anything to do with Xia Changfang. The probability was definitely high. His killing intent boiled when he thought of the conspiracies around him and Chu Yao. But now still wasn't the time to take action. He still had to get stronger. Only the tip of the iceberg had been revealed to him now. He still wasn't in control. So he needed to endure. Keeping this in mind. His anger was quickly replaced with calmness. Seeing Long Chen's angry expression suddenly fade, Xia Changfeng's heart shook slightly. The caution he felt towards Long Chen increased. Enemies who could control their emotions were the truly terrifying ones. Brother Xia, I don't think you should propose to the third princess. Long Chen shook his head. Huh? Why? I've studied the secrets of fate. When I did some calculations for you, I realized Brother Xia's name contains the word wind while the third princess's name contains the word forest. Wind will destroy the forest, so it's not good for the third princess. Long Chen was watching Xia Changfeng's expression. 2. Haha, <laughs> brother Long really is funny. How could such a thing be given true credence? Laughed Xia Changfeng. Long Chen's eyes became even gloomier. By using his divine sense to its limits, he had noticed that while Xia Changfeng's expression might not have changed while he had spoken, his heart had jumped a bit. HMPH. So this bastard really does know quite a lot. Not so. My ability to read faces is definitely at the master level. Brother Xia, you have much fire in your life. And that is why you were given the name Changfang. Fire borrows the power of the wind. Such a flame spreads for thousands of miles with nothing being able to block it anymore. It truly is a good name. Praised Long Chen. Xia Changfang smiled slightly. But he also paused for a moment. His heart going wild. Did Long Chen really have such skills? His name really had been inspired by a mysterious person who had explained it just as Long Chen had explained it. His life was fire faded, and only due to this did his parents name him Chang Feng. Although he kept his expression as calm as ever, his heart was jumping and his blood surging. The change in his breathing was unable to escape Long Chen's awareness. Long Chen laughed inside, not expecting his fake act to actually touch upon something. He continued, as for our third princess, 
Her name contains the Yao character. You are fire faded, but her name has water. More importantly, her name also has the character for king. So it's not just ordinary water, but the king of water. 3. Wind and forest repel each other, while water will put out fire. You cannot marry someone with such a name. And furthermore, the capital is surrounded by water on four sides. So it's far too risky for brother Zaya. If you dare marry the third princess, you most likely won't live long enough to leave the Phoenix Cry Empire. So, I advise you to give up on this notion. Women are like clothes. For just a piece of clothing, you will put your life in danger? It's just not worth it. Shi Fang, Fatty Yu, and the others' expressions all changed. Was he threatening the prince? As for Long Chen's ability to read faces, they half believed it and half doubted it. But now, Long Chen was explaining it all very clearly and they couldn't help trusting it. At this time, Xia Changfeng's expression was very unsightly. Long Chen's words made him very uncomfortable as he had no way to refute them. Don't try deluding us with your lies. You think you can confuse a prince just by using a few parlor tricks? I think you're getting tired of living, shouted the scarred man angrily. A dog who won't listen actually dares talk before his master, frowned Long Chen. From the start, he could feel the scarred man's killing intent, and that killing intent chilled him to his bones. That meant the scarred man was mulling over how to kill him. Long Chen definitely wouldn't give him any face. Bastard. The scarred man angrily shouted and punched at Long Chen. Stop. Xia Changfeng prevented the scarred man from attacking. He had already returned to his normal state at this time, and he smiled at Long Chen. Who would have thought Brother Long had such a humorous side? My horizons have truly been broadened. Unfortunately, I still have things to do at this time. So let's talk another day. Xia Changfeng brought both the scarred man and Xia Beiji away. But Xia Beiji still gave Long Chen an angry glare. Her disdainful gaze seeming to consider Long Chen to be just a piece of meat. After getting down the stairs, the scarred man ruthlessly said, If it weren't for you blocking me, Long Chen would already be a dead man now. This Long Chen definitely has to die. I also almost lost control of myself. That bastard really is loathsome. But Long Chen still has other uses for now. If he died, then it would affect our plans. Let him live a few more days. Sighed Xia Changfeng. Even someone as calm as him had almost taken action to attack him. He was truly infuriated. Master sent orders for me to defa a Turing Long Chen in front of that old bastard Yun Qi. If you kill him before then, it will definitely anger that old ghost. Coldly said Xia Beichi. That old idiot. Whether I sincerely begged or tried to seduce him, he just wouldn't help me. What a waste of time. Xia Changfeng looked at her and shook his head. From the beginning. Master's attempts at having you entice him were unlikely to work. Why? Xia Changfeng shook his head and didn't reply. The scarred man beside him sighed. Because princess, you don't have the proper temperament of a woman. Xia Beiji sent a slap at the scarred man's face. But he just smiled indifferently. Seeming very accustomed to this. Once they had left, Long Chen and the rest also lost interest in drinking. Long Chen felt as if time was running out for him. The closer he got to the truth the more dangerous it became. Once the whole truth was revealed, if he didn't have enough strength, then he would undoubtedly die. But there was fundamentally not enough time. He had to take advantage of every moment to cultivate. Just the slightest increase in power would give him a greater chance at surviving. But Chu Yao's situation was also pressing on him. He had to race against time and resolve her matter. Are you Long Chen? Suddenly, a lean, middle-aged man walked up the restaurant and greeted Long Chen. Chapter 32 Hua Ian Pavilion Invitation Translator Born to be are you Long Chen? I am. Long Chen was startled, as he himself didn't even recognize this person. Perfect. Under the pavilion master's orders, I have come to give you this invitation card. The lean middle-aged man rejoiced. Young noble, you might not recognize me, but my lowly self is an attendant of the Hua Ian Pavilion. I have especially come to invite you to our annual auction. Only now did Long Chen understand. He was being pulled into some kind of business work. As for being an attendant, it would be more accurate to just call him a footrunner. Long Chen had a great understanding of this Huaian Pavilion. It was the most famous auction house in the Phoenix Cry Empire and was an extremely huge existence. Although it might not be comparable to the Alchemist Guild, it was definitely powerful. It was the closest partner of the Adventurers Guild. The Adventurers Guild was an alliance formed by countless adventurers, and although it was a loose partnership, it had many members. Adventurers traveled the wilderness for most of their days, 
and although it was an extremely dangerous occupation, its rewards were also accordingly great. All kinds of strange medicinal herbs and magical beast cores could be found, and if one's luck was really ridiculous, then it was even possible to find an ancient inheritance. Adventurers were very fond of collaborating with the Huaian Pavilion due to their extremely fair prices. Selling their gains there was the most secure method to sell their spoils. Some of them didn't go into danger themselves. They would make deals with other people or even kill others for their spoils. Those were extremely common affairs. Sometimes, the city was even more frightful than the wilderness. So, the Huaian Pavilion's annual auction would always attract countless people. They would select the rarest treasures that they had gathered over the year for that auction. Almost every auction would result in them delighting at the high bidding. So the extent of their auction also became greater over the time. In the past two years, the auction's quality had become incredibly great, and they had even set down new rules. It was now impossible to enter without an invitation card, and the people who could obtain an invitation card were only people with exceedingly high statuses. Long Chen was the first youth to receive such a thing. This is a great thing, Brother Long, but if you don't have enough money, then it would just be a waste of time, said Xiao Hao. The Huaian Pavilion's auction wares were all the best amongst the best. Every single item was extremely desirable. Adding on the auction house's expert advertising and enticements, the price would soar wildly all the time. Without money, you could only look with envy. Do you have a list of things being auctioned? Asked Long Chen. This lowly one only has a list of the first ten things. You can have a look. The lean man apologetically said. In order to maintain its mystery, the best things being auctioned off would never be allowed to be leaked. Long Chen looked over it. His pupil shrank when he saw the star-fusing grass on the list. It was actually star-fusing grass that was over a thousand years old. Normal star-fusing grass was always within ten to a hundred years old. Over a hundred years old was rare, and over a thousand years old made it an exceptionally precious treasure. Such a treasure was actually just the first item of the list. Seeing Long Chen's shock, the lean man became pleased and said, As a pill apprentice, any precious medicinal pills you have can be handed over to us. If the quality and rareness of it reach the standards, we can consider adding it to the auction. But we charge 50% commission. 50%. Ha! How vicious. You actually dare ask for 50%? Do you dare ask for more? As if seeing through Long Chen's thoughts, he laughed. As long as what you have is good enough, then after our packaging and advertising, in addition to our chief auctioneer's embellishment, the price will definitely rise far beyond your imaginations. Hearing that, Long Chen became more at ease. At the same time, he felt a bit of admiration at how they ran their business. What Long Chen didn't know was that this man's job really wasn't as easy as he thought it was. The people in the lean man's position would get three quotas for the annual auction, meaning they were only allowed to invite three people. Whether those people were buying or selling things, the one who had invited him would get a set percentage. The more they bought or sold, the more money that person would get. So each person invited had to be carefully selected. But after this many years, more and more wealthy people were being invited earlier, leaving only a few behind. Now they were just picking over the dredges. This lean man was very astute. So as soon as he had received his quota, he had rushed over to invite Long Chen, afraid that others would get there first. There was no other way. Long Chen was the most famous person within his generation in the capital, and he was definitely a big fish with potential. Please look over this lowly one's calling card. He handed over a small card to Long Chen. Fuji Ui. 1. Haha. <laughs> I come from a poor family. My parents wished for me to gain riches. So they came up with such a name. The lean man explained with embarrassment. His explanation also caused Long Chen to feel a bit of sympathy. Nodding. He said. I am definitely very interested in buying things. I also have some things that I want to auction off. How does it work? Fuji Ui's eyes brightened. Any treasures can be brought directly to the Huaian Pavilion. We can also go to your door to get them. Long Chen nodded. There was just less than a month until the auction, so he still had time. After setting an appointment with Fuji Ui, Long Chen and the others all left the restaurant. Long Chen, the Phoenix Cry Lantern Festival is a week from now. You definitely have to come out, said Shi Feng expectantly. The Phoenix Cry Lantern Festival was the largest celebration of the empire. The entire capital's unmarried population would participate. It was extremely lively, and it was the festival that all the young people looked forward to the most. Especially those unmarried men. Each of them would be like a bull, determinately waiting for a chance of attracting a woman's attention. 
As for the women, they also wanted to see if they could find an acceptable man. It was a bit controversial for men and women to be together like this, but during the one day of the Phoenix Cry Lantern Festival, all those taboos were lifted, and both genders could party wildly together as much as they wanted to. Thus, many of them made preparations beforehand for this festival, and the most fun part of it was the fight over the number one junior warrior in their generation. There would always be a martial stage during the festival. As long as you were a cultivator and were under 20 years old, anyone could go up. The first place battle was the highlight. As long as you got that title, it would no longer even be possible for you to be low-key. Countless women would send flowers after you, enough to bury you even. Just thinking about it set the men's hearts on fire. Even the calm Shi Fen was burning with passion. And as expected, Fatty Yu and the others were all bursting with enthusiasm. Brother Long, you definitely have to come. If you don't go, then we won't want to go either, begged Fatty Yu. Then how about none of us go and we'll find somewhere to get a drink instead? Laughed Long Chen. No, Master Long, we've been waiting for this for a year. Fatty Yu and the others immediately acted sullen. Some of them got on their knees and hugged Long Chen's legs, not letting go until he agreed. Long Chen, if you don't go, then it will be too boring. In the capital, you are the most famous of our generation. You're viewed as number one, and if you don't go, then it will disappoint countless people, persuaded Shi Fang. Hmm? When did I get such a big name? Long Chen was startled. You didn't know? Even the little kids know about it. Dual martial and pill cultivation that shakes heaven and earth. The heroic assembly houses angry god. The one who spread his wings and flew out of the phoenix cry empire. The one who laughs arrogantly at the nine heavens. Long Chen. Shi Feng looked at Long Chen strangely. Comma what kind of situation is this? How did I not know? There are poems about me? Long Chen was struck foolishly silent. Okay, brother Long, all your brothers are hoping to enjoy the festivities with you, but whatever you say is what we'll do. Shi Feng wasn't the same as the others. He had considered Long Chen as his brother from the start, so he didn't need to have as many misjivings as the others. Ugh, I'll go. Long Chen smiled bitterly. He had originally been planning on training for an extra day. Fatty Yu and the others all cheered at that. It was as if they were seeing a scene of countless beautiful women before them. After splitting ways with the others, Long Chen quickly rushed home. He didn't even eat dinner. The time he was wasting was too great. He had to urgently increase his cultivation base. Although the Feng Fu star had already been perfectly condensed. But now that he had gained a danshan, he wanted to quickly condense more cyclones. There were currently only three cyclones in his danshan. He wanted to continue forming them. But there was no clue on how to do so within the nine star hegemon body art in his memories. Back when the Feng Fu star had condensed, three of the cyclones had appeared all at once. Even Long Chen didn't know how it had happened. Now, Long Chen found that when he circulated his danshan, the three cyclones would also revolve with it. This method was only for continuously sending energy throughout him for battle, and wasn't for cultivating. Drawing some of the Feng Fu star's spiritual energy out to the cyclones, they immediately grew ten times the size and Long Chen's breathing became rushed in anticipation. But this was also for battle and not how to cultivate them. Long Chen took a deep breath, and hesitating for a moment, he slowly circulated his key to absorb the outside world's spiritual key. However, this time, he didn't send it throughout his body but gathered it into his Feng Fu star. Following Long Chen's absorption of heaven and earth's spiritual key, the Feng Fu star started to quickly circulate. This is the way. Long Chen was elated, although he didn't know exactly what was happening. This definitely seemed to be more for cultivating and less for battle. Doing his best to continue absorbing, the Feng Fu star gradually became brighter under the continuous absorption. In the end, it appeared like a blazing sun. Boom. The Feng Fu star shook, and it immediately became dimmer. At the same time, another cyclone appeared within Long Chen's danshan. Haha, <laughs> I finally found the way to continue cultivating. Along with the fourth cyclone's formation, Long Chen found out that the meridians within his body had also expanded slightly, and his whole body was surging with energy. Good, let's continue. Long Chen slowly closed his eyes and began to attack the fifth heaven stage. Chapter 33 Phoenix Cry Lantern Festival Translator Born to be within the inner part of the palace was the fourth prince's study. The fourth prince was sitting with his eyelids half closed as he quietly listened to the savage Marquis's report. Master, no news has come from the border suppression Marquis. The army continues to hold the same area and no reply has come from master's letters, reported the savage Marquis respectfully. 
The fourth prince slowly opened his eyes. Within them was a glimmer of cold grimness. What a reckless, obstinate old man. I gave him that much time yet he still treats me like some pushover. This long shy Anxio truly doesn't know greatness. He still refuses to surrender to prince after this many years. Truly hateful to the point of deserving a thousand deaths, said the savage Marquis ruthlessly. The fourth prince glanced at him and said, I know about the past grievances between you and Long Shai Anxio. If it hadn't been for that punch of his, then you would have had a high chance of advancing to the Tendon Transformation Realm. But Long Shai Anxio's strength doesn't just lie in his martial might. Otherwise, I wouldn't view him so importantly. Unfortunately, he's too stubborn and can't be used by me. Since he can't become one of mine, let him become a dead man. The savage Marquis rejoiced when he heard of this. Master, do you have a plan? Right now isn't the time to deal with him. However, he has indeed wasted so many years of my effort. So first, kill his only son. Count it as him paying some interest, said the fourth prince indifferently. Long Chen? How should he be killed? Asked the savage Marquis, somewhat puzzled. The current Long Chen counted as one of the alchemist guild's people and the rumors reported that he was close to Grand Master Yun Qi. Even a prince couldn't avoid the alchemist guild's punishment. I've already fixed that matter, so you don't need to worry about it. Just quietly gather your forces. We're about to make some big moves. Don't forget to not attract any undue attention, ordered the fourth prince coldly. Yes, master, don't worry, I'll definitely make sure there's not even the slightest leak promised the savage Marquis hastily. His current strength was just at the blood condensation realm, so his martial might wasn't very outstanding, and it was exactly because he wasn't overly eye-attracting that the fourth prince gave him such a high position. He was extremely loyal and devoted, and he was also very meticulous with how he handled things. He hadn't made any slip-ups in all the years he had worked for him. After the savage Marquis left, the fourth prince looked at the books on his shelves. A long while later, he sighed. Long Shai Anxio, is it worth the trouble? So much of my sincerity over the years was unable to move you. Don't blame me for being vicious. Boom. Another explosion rang out within his body, and Long Chen's eyes popped open. His eyes shined brightly like the stars, yet his gaze was as sharp as a sword. Seven cyclones were slowly revolving within his danshan. A pleased smile appeared on Long Chen's face. He had spent seven full days focused only on cultivating, advancing four levels. Such a speed would definitely shock and frighten anyone else. Yet Long Chen still wasn't satisfied with it. Originally, he had thought that as he condensed more cyclones, his cultivation would become faster since he could absorb more energy. But he quickly found out that his assumption had been wrong. Every new cyclone had been harder to condense than the last. The amount of spiritual key needed exponentially shot up. The fourth cyclone had only required six hours to form, while the seventh cyclone had required three full days. That was basically the sum of all the three cyclones before it. But Long Chen was still pleased when he noticed that his meridians had become even firmer as he reached the seventh heaven stage. However, he was still unable to use split the heavens. But this didn't disappoint him. In fact, it made him even more excited. This meant that split the heavens was an exceptionally powerful battle skill. For him to have used some random pill to exchange for such a high class battle skill had definitely been worth it. Originally. He had been planning on going back there and bribing that blood condensation expert with more medicinal pills for some more high-grade battle skills. But now that Chu Yao had given him the breaking wind fist and the flamma cloud palm, he had enough. The two of them were both high mortal class battle skills. Most likely, only the third floor of the battle skill pavilion would hold battle skills of that level. Battle skills on that level were things that even that blood condensation guard would not have the qualifications to learn. It was not the case that the more battle skills you learned, the better. Unless martial artists were pushed to their limit, they normally wouldn't use them. That was because battle skills used too much spiritual key. Ordinary key condensation cultivators could only use a low-grade mortal battle skill once. After using it once, their remaining spiritual key would be insufficient to use it a second time. So unless you could defeat your entire enemy in one move, no one would waste their spiritual key like that. Furthermore. The higher the class of the battle skill, the more spiritual key would be required to use it. High mortal class battle skills were normally reserved for blood condensation cultivators to use. Only they had the required spiritual key for such a frightening cost. But of course, Long Chen wasn't ordinary. His spiritual key was stored within his Feng Fu star. By Long Chen's calculations, he could use a high mortal class battle skill seven times. 
but if he were to send his Fenfu star spiritual key to his seven cyclones in order to produce his absolute max power, then he would only be able to use a high mortal class battle skill once. He wouldn't be able to use it a second time even if he forced himself to death. Currently, Long Chen still could not condense a second star. The nine star hegemon body art required that only after the first star became a true star could the second star be condensed. But Long Chen still didn't know how to make his star a true star. He also didn't know what the nine star transformations in his memories were. He really was becoming more and more puzzled as he progressed on his cultivation path with the nine star hegemon body art. Therefore, he could only continue forming more cyclones for now. Young master, can I enter? Bayoer's clear voice came from outside. Enter. Bayoer entered with a set of clothes in her hands. She laughed. Young master, today is the Phoenix Cry Lantern Festival. Mrs. Long has sent me to make you presentable. She had him sit down properly while she washed his face and combed his hair. Long Chen laughed. Is this really so important? Haha. <laughs> The madam has already said that young master is now 16 and is the age for getting married. She told me to properly dress you. If any family's pretty daughter sees you. Haha. <laughs> you understand. Bayoer laughed. No way. My mom really thinks it's that urgent. Long Chen was speechless. Fatty Yu and the others were all 17. But they hadn't gotten married. Of course it's urgent. I worry about my grandchildren. Mrs. Long walked in and looked at Long Chen. The matter of Menki can be handled slowly and considered a long-term goal. But you also need to have short-term goals. It's called insurance. I suggest you go find a suitable young lady and get some kids while also pursuing Menki. What? Long Chen couldn't believe his ears. What? For a man to have multiple wives and concubines is common. Isn't it fine to just reserve Menki as the first wife? Mrs. Long spoke as if that was as it should be. Are you serious? Of course. But you can't tell Menki about it at the beginning. Once you two become closer, she'll naturally agree to it. Long Chen blinked. Even this was fine? Mom, Dad hasn't bothered to communicate with us in this many years. Does he also have wives and concubines outside? Don't say so much nonsense. But it would be absolutely fine for your father to have some extra wives or concubines. She chided. But a guilty, ashamed glimmer flashed through her eyes. Haha, <laughs> I'm just joking Mom. Don't worry. If there are any suitable women during the Lantern Festival, I'll bring a few back for you. Seeing his mom wasn't very happy, he joked. TCH, who do you think you are to bring a few home? Let me tell you, don't try any fake smiles with your mom. You have to properly remember this matter. Understood. She solemnly warned. Fine, fine, fine. I'll act however you tell me, promised Long Chen. Inside, he didn't feel that it was quite right, but he didn't dare say that out loud to his mother. After making himself presentable, Long Chen put on a blue robe. It was the perfect size and after putting it on, he looked like a whole new person. Sword-like eyebrows and glowing with health. Although he wasn't outstandingly handsome, Bayoer unceasingly praised him. Haha, <laughs> don't worry madam. How many women could resist our young master? Ah, don't praise him too much. Although Mrs. Long said this, she was pleased inside. She was filled with pride looking at her handsome son. Okay, it's time. Go. Mrs. Long pushed Long Chen out the door. Mom, the sun is still so high. It's going to be a while before it darkens. Long Chen helplessly pointed out as he looked at the western sun that had barely begun to descend. Bad child. You don't know what it means to prepare early. First get a good spot. And only then can you increase your chances. Quick. Go. After saying this, she closed the gates on him. Long Chen rolled his eyes. It wasn't like he was setting up a stall for business. Why did he need to first occupy a good position? But since he was already driven out, he still left. He saw countless people bustling in front of their homes, hanging lanterns, seeing Long Chen. A youth joked, Brother, you really are early. What do you know? The early bird gets the worm, retorted Long Chen. Ha, huh. true. Many thanks for the reminder big brother. I'll go change now. That person ran back into his house. What a kid. Only 13 yet he wants to play with women. His mouth twitched. The children these days really were maturing too early. He had also truly come out too soon. And when others saw that he had come out so early, it only led to more jokes from people along the way. He was early enough to be embarrassed. But he also didn't have enough time to go cultivate either. And just sitting around would also be boring. Just as he was hesitating on what to do next, an almost solid murderous aura attacked him. A gust of wind shot straight towards Long Chen's back. Hastily turning. 
Long Chen's fist just managed to block a sneak attacker's punch. Gale winds exploded when they collided, and Long Chen was forced back several steps. Raising his head, he saw a masked man who was sending another punch at him. The man's strength was very great and the wind whistled with his every blow. Long Chen coldly snorted, ignoring the punch. He kicked between that person's legs. That person's battle experience was very rich, and he directly stopped his punch and switched to defense, his leg blocking Long Chen's attack. After blocking it, a fierce energy erupted from that person's body. A fist ripped through the space and completely cut off Long Chen's retreat paths. Coldness filled Long Chen's eyes. Just as he was about to use all his power, he suddenly thought of something. Spirit of the bull. Long Chen shouted and their punches collided. He was sent flying dozens of steps, his blood surging tumultuously. Just as that person was about to keep attacking after sending Long Chen flying, he suddenly turned to see the shadows of people approaching them. HMPH. Kid, next time I'll take your life. He coldly snorted when he saw the pale-faced Long Chen. He disappeared in front of Long Chen's eyes with shocking speed. After he left, Long Chen's pale face once more returned to its normal rosiness. Idiot, you want to test my power? Long Chen patted the dust off his clothes, looking in the direction where that person left from. A certain thought arose in his mind. Looks like tonight won't be so boring after all. Chapter 34 Start of the Lantern Festival Translator Born to be in the middle of that sneak attack just now, Long Chen had realized his opponent's true intentions. Although he had appeared to be trying to kill him, that was just an act. What kind of assassin would reveal his killing intent before striking? No real killer would make such a basic error, and that person hadn't had any true killing intent, only a murderous aura. Although each attack was powerful, he had obviously been holding back. It was a completely different style from an assassin. So at the last moment, Long Chen deliberately lost and allowed himself to be sent flying. He concealed how much spiritual energy he had and pretended to be injured. As he had expected, this killer immediately left. Did they think he was an idiot? Those people who had been coming over were just ordinary people who he could have easily killed first before leaving. But the killer had acted startled and retreated hastily. Long Chen snorted disdainfully at such shoddy acting. He knew that person definitely had to have a high status who was too prideful and believed himself to be infallible. Although he didn't know why he had been tested, Long Chen knew there would definitely be a follow-up. Otherwise, all of this would have been meaningless. Brother Long, you really are early haha. As he was considering this, he ended up walking into the public plaza, and Xiao Hao shouted out to him excitedly. The plaza was several miles wide, and countless lanterns dozens of meters tall had been set out. But since it hadn't turned dark yet, they hadn't been lit. Crowds of people were bustling in the plaza. All kinds of constructions were being finished. Despite not being lit, the countless varied lanterns were still a spectacular sight. Young men and women were all over the plaza and starting to play. The sound of conversation filled the air, and occasional bell-like laughter would ring out. But some of those laughs were extremely unpleasant to listen to. Who knew whether those braying laughs were always like that or whether it was due to this being a special occasion, but they caused one's hair to stand on end. The women were holding hands and having fun, while at the same time, secretly stealing glances at the men. Although it was almost autumn, the plaza gave off a fresh feeling of spring. Some of the men truly were doing as Long Chen's mother had said and had picked a high spot early on. Some of them were on high rocks, some on bridges, their hands waving a fan in front of them in a flirtatious manner. What shocked and caused him to be speechless was that some of them were acting like roosters and being excessively lewd. Xiao Hao, this is the legendary Phoenix Cry Lantern Festival with handsome men and beautiful women. Long Chen almost couldn't believe his eyes. Ah, uh, brother Long, we're early. The truly beautiful women haven't come out yet. Only those people without confidence come this early, he awkwardly explained. But as soon he said it he backtracked. But brother Long is definitely an exception. Long Chen truly had come too early. He blamed it all on his mom and had an urge to cry. But as the sky gradually darkened, more and more people started to show up. These new additions were definitely a grade better than the ones who had gotten there so early. At the very least, their laughs were not so frightening. It was pretty good in terms of both numbers and quality. Haha, <laughs> brother Long, you really came. Shi Feng had just arrived, quickly noticing Long Chen and Xiao Hao who were hiding in a corner. Haha, <laughs> brother Long, you really are dashing today. Fatty Yu and the others also came in succession and came to greet Long Chen. Fatty Yu, you aren't bad either. You've lost quite a bit of weight. In the past, we didn't even know how you managed to squeeze into places. 
joked Xiao Hao. Everyone also laughed. As they were having fun, more and more people ended up showing up, and the plaza became completely full. The young people were all in small groups within the crowd and quietly chatting, but all of their gazes were roving around, looking for targets. Long Chen, let's join them. It's almost time for the Lantern Festival to begin, said Shi Fang. Fatty Yu and the others were already feeling a bit pressed, but since Long Chen never said anything, they had only waited beside him patiently. Actually, Long Chen really didn't want to go into the crowd, but not wanting to be rude, he still resolved himself to enter the huge crowd of people. As soon as Long Chen's group entered, they attracted many people's attention. One reason was because they were one of the last groups to join, but this group of people was also very special. Tall, short, fat, skinny, there was someone for anyone's taste. Huh, who's that? How handsome, how come I've never seen him before? One woman immediately let out a surprised shout. Long Chen was definitely not bad in terms of looks, but it definitely hadn't reached the point of amazing and awing people. But as for whether a flower was pretty or not was decided in the eye of the beholder. Beside Fatty Yu, Xiao Hao, and the others, even the dark-faced Shi Feng appeared much more handsome than normal. You don't know? That's Long Chen, the border suppression Marquis's son. Heavens, he's Long Chen? The Long Chen praised as the capital's number one in the junior generation. I heard he's even a pill apprentice and might even become Grand Master Yun Qi's first disciple. Gossip about him filled the air, and many women sent furtive gazes his way. Some of the bold ones actually started to shout his name. Sweat started to roll down his face. Long Chen had never seen such a battle, and no matter how thick his face was, he still couldn't block it all out. Brother Shi, you go to the front. Fatty Yu and Hao Zi, one. You guys come up a bit more too. Novaloon.com Long Chen straightforwardly hid behind his friends, lowering his head while he walked. This relieved quite a bit of pressure on him. After wading through the crowd for a bit, they arrived at a huge martial arena that was hundreds of meters wide. Long Chen, this martial arena is for finding the number one junior warrior in the Phoenix Cry Empire. Are you interested? Smiled Shi Fang. Definitely not. I don't like being a trick performing monkey. Long Chen shook his head. He. Then I'm relieved, laughed Shi Feng. Long Chen was startled for a moment before realizing that Shi Feng was actually after that title. Good luck, Long Chen extended a fist. Shi Feng bumped fists with him and said, Don't worry, as long as it's not you, then I should be okay. Hey, you two are being rude. You keep ignoring our needs. Let's go bros. We'll take advantage of our time and go fool around, shouted Xiao Hao as he pulled the rest of the group away. Remember to meet back here in a while shouted back Shi Fang. The two of them didn't even know whether they were heard. The others disappeared quickly into the crowd, each looking for a target. Shi Fang, how's your cultivation base? Seeing no one was around, Long Chen quietly asked him. The peak of the first vestige of blood condensation. In just a short while, I should be able to reach the second level. Shi Fang replied gratefully. The reason he had managed to reach his current level so quickly had been because of Long Chen's assistance. The earlier someone entered the blood condensation realm, the greater it would benefit their future cultivation. If someone only managed to break through to blood condensation after 30, then that person probably would never be able to progress past the first vestige of blood condensation. Currently, Shi Feng wasn't even 18 but had broken through to blood condensation realm. In the future, he would have over a 30% chance of advancing to the tendon transformation realm. The Tendon Transformation Realm was the level which the strongest existences in the Empire were at. There were only three of them in the entire Phoenix Cry Empire. Long Chen nodded. Such a speed meant that Shi Feng was extremely hardworking. But when he examined Shi Feng's Danshan, he found that his spirit root was only of average quality. The Tendon Transformation Realm would probably be the limit of his martial path. There wasn't much hope for advancing further. Later. I'll help you refine a foundation establishment pill that will stabilize your foundation. With your work attitude, you should be able to break through to the tendon transformation realm before you're 30, said Long Chen. Was the pill you gave me last time really refined by yourself? Shi Fen was delighted by that offer, but he couldn't help doubting it slightly. Interesting. If I didn't refine it, then did I steal it? Long Chen was a bit irked. No, but we originally thought it was Grandmaster Yun Qi who gave it to you said Shi Feng lightly. After all, Long Chen had completely changed in just the blink of an eye. He had gone from a trash who couldn't cultivate to becoming a pill apprentice. They were still surprised by this and so, they couldn't help but make up some theories. 
However, what Long Chen was telling him now meant that he had refined it himself. Right now, your foundation isn't bad, but it's not solid enough. The main issue is that at the initial key condensation levels, your cultivation was a bit too rushed. This left a few faults on your foundation, so it will be an obstruction when you attack tendon transformation in the future. The foundation establishment pill, which I'll refine for you, won't be able to fix all of those faults, but it will make it much easier for you to break through to the tendon transformation realm, said Long Chen. Brother Long, I won't say any words for courtesy. If brother has any need in the future, then just tell me and my life will be yours, swore Shi Feng solemnly. Such words aren't required between brothers. Whoa, what's that? Long Chen suddenly saw a dozen guards with embroidered clothes walking over from the distance. They were holding some kind of huge objects in their hands, but he was unable to see its shape. Those are the princesses' lanterns. The princesses will each hand make one during the festival to bless the empire with luck, explained Shi Feng. The princesses? Then, he definitely had to have a good look. Unfortunately, he didn't know which one was Chu Yao's. As for those guards, they all marched behind a huge curtain which both faced the crowd as well as the martial stage. The festivities had yet to truly begin, so they wouldn't let the people to see them too early. Even more guards started to appear, completely surrounding the perimeter. Interested in what those guards were doing, those young people who were messing around also started shifting over. The area became completely crammed extremely quickly. Some of the women who hadn't made it in time to get a good spot actually batted her eyes at a man who immediately gave up his spot for her. As for those men, they could only watch from a great distance. Even Fatty Yu and the others could only stare from afar. After all, who had told them to go and chase after girls? All the spots closer to the stage and huge curtain were already taken now, so they could only stand in the distance. Once everyone was seated, a phoenix carriage appeared and a shout rang out, causing all the guards to kneel. The Empress Dowager's carriage has arrived. Chapter 35 Sparks Fly Translator Born to be following the announcement, eight ladies gracefully came out to support a woman down from the phoenix carriage. Every single person kneeled down when that woman descended, respectfully calling, Greetings, Empress Dowager, but Long Chen was not amongst the people kneeling. That wasn't because of his arrogance or cultivation base. According to the Empire's customs, cultivators above the blood condensation realm didn't have to kneel towards princes. However, Cultivation base didn't matter when it came to the Empress Dowager. Any citizen of the Empire had to kneel in front of her. The exception that allowed him to ignore this custom was his status as a pill apprentice. As an alchemist, he had the option to not kneel. Furthermore, he was sitting amongst a huge crowd of people so he wouldn't be noticed. Acknowledged, the Empress Dowager merely glanced at these people before indifferently raising her hand. Only then did everyone slowly get up. Long Chen closely examined this woman who held all the power of the Phoenix Cry Empire. She only appeared around 37 or 38 years old, but it was said that she was actually over 50. Despite being called the Empress Dowager, she was not the blood mother of the Emperor, but the actual mother of the Crown Prince. Since the Emperor had stayed in seclusion for so long, the Chancellors finally decided that continuing to call her the Empress was becoming inappropriate. Since the Crown Prince had come of age now, he was set to ascend the throne the next year. Therefore, her title had changed from Empress to Empress Dowager. 1. With the lady's support, she slowly walked over to the central seat and sat down. The seven princes also came out in succession, sitting beside the Empress Dowager. This was the first time Long Chen had seen all the princes together. He looked over them one by one. He had seen the crown prince before, and he also recognized the seventh prince. The current seventh prince had become much better behaved now and didn't dare to mess around as much as he used to. Long Chen finally found the one he was most interested in, the fourth prince. It went without saying that the fourth prince was very handsome. His face always had a modest smile that was very friendly and powerful. Looking over his surroundings, Long Chen noticed that many of the young women were already infatuated with this handsome prince. Long Chen shook his head at the other princes, although they were all very grand. The arrogance in their eyes could not be hidden. Naturally, he thought of Chu Yao at this time. Amongst these princes, how many of them weren't wearing masks? Or more accurately, were they all wearing masks? And just how many masks were they wearing? A sneer appeared on his lips. The more power the royalty held, the more difficult they would be to deal with when they were corrupted. It would be better to have them lead some wars and have them feel a bit of pain along with their people. Long Chen turned his nose up at those people who had killed others in secret without actually touching blood. 
If they had such intentions, then why didn't they just focus on increasing their own strength through cultivating? Grandmaster Yan Qi has arrived. What surprised Long Chen was that Grandmaster Yan Qi actually appeared at the chairs. His appearance immediately caused a commotion. This was the first time a person like Grandmaster Yan Qi had ever come to the Phoenix Cry Lantern Festival. As soon as Grandmaster Yan Qi walked up, the Empress Dowager quickly stood up and paid her respects to him. Greetings Grandmaster. This old man doesn't deserve such courtesy from Empress Dowager. Grandmaster Yan Qi also gave her a half bow of respect. After the two of them had greeted each other, Grandmaster Yan Qi seated himself. His seat was right next to the Empress Dowager and at the exact same height, showing just how high his status was. His gaze roved around the crowd, and he nodded slightly when he saw Long Chen practically hiding in the corner. This slight movement of his immediately drew everyone's attention. Following Yan Qi's gaze, they immediately found Long Chen. Looks like the rumors are true. Long Chen really has been recognized by Grandmaster Yan Qi. He might have already become his apprentice. Some people couldn't help but sigh. It seemed like just moments ago that Long Chen had been a bullied trash, but now his life had completely changed with Grandmaster Yan Qi's recognition. He had actually become a highly revered pill apprentice. Long Chen cursed when he saw Grandmaster Yan Qi nod his head at him. As he expected, everyone immediately looked over at him. He had no desire to become the focus of everyone's attention, but now it was too late to be low key. Long Chen rose up and bowed towards Grandmaster Yan Qi. Seeing that, the Empress Dowager smiled. Looks like Grandmaster's closed heart has finally been moved after all these years. Are you planning on passing down your legacy? The crowd immediately quieted. It was rumored that Grandmaster Yan Qi was extremely prideful and would never take an apprentice within his life. They were all curious as to what he would reply. This child has a great future ahead of him. I truly do hope he becomes my apprentice, replied Grandmaster Yan Qi lightly. Although he didn't exactly say it explicitly, his words still shocked everyone. He was such a prideful man that almost no one had ever heard him praise someone. For him to look so highly upon Long Chen, then just how important was Long Chen to him? Countless theories popped up in people's minds. I must assume Long Chen is an extremely talented alchemist or an ordinary pill apprentice would not be able to enter your gaze like that, said the fourth prince. Yun Qi looked at the fourth prince and laughed. Being a talented alchemist is just one part of it. The most important thing is perseverance. Fourth prince's perseverance is also very admirable. He smiled. You overpraise me, grandmaster. The fourth prince no longer continued to talk after this. Long Chen's keen senses noticed that his expression had changed ever so slightly. Was it because of what Grandmaster Yan Qi implied? Long Chen couldn't help wondering. Grandmaster Wei Kang, Prince Changfeng, and Princess Beiqi have arrived. Following this announcement, Xia Changfeng, Xia Beiqi, and a 40-year-old, thin, bearded man wearing a pill master's robe walked out. His robe had an exquisite pill cauldron sewn in over the abdominal area. The cauldron had three lines on it, marking him as a pill master. Long Chen also had such an alchemist robe but the quality of his robe was much inferior, and there was only one line on his cauldron. One line signified pill apprentice, two lines a pill adept, and three lines a pill master. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. Just who was this person? Why would he appear here? Yun Qi, after not seeing you for so many years, it seems as if you've aged quite a bit, said Wei Kang. The entire plaza became completely silent once he said this. Grandmaster Yan Qi was revered highly within the Phoenix Cry Empire and no one would dare say such a thing to him. Wei Kang, did you finally leave the Grand Xia because you're dying and want to see more of the world? Replied Grandmaster Yan Qi. Even if I was dying, it'd be better than my wife dying. And my wives have become more numerous over these years. Wei Kang laughed. Whether it was intentional or not was unknown. But Xia Beiji hugged Wei Kang's arm and pressed her body close against his. Long Chen's gaze darkened when he noticed that Xia Beiji was wearing the exact same clothes as the woman in the picture Yan Qi had shown him. If he hadn't guessed wrong, then this old ghost was most likely Yan Qi's enemy, and maybe even the death of his wife had been related to him. He was clearly attacking Grandmaster Yan Qi and was using Xia Beiji as a sharp weapon. Fury rose within Long Chen. Although he hadn't had much contact with Grandmaster Yan Qi, he knew that he was a peaceful person who was open and honest with others. He was an elder worthy of respect, and for him to be schemed against by someone like this caused him to recklessly shout the following, you're just a dying old stick, take care for the day that you keel over during sex.
the plaza was originally deathly silent, so Long Chen's voice rang out clearly in every single person's ears. Everyone turned to look at Long Chen in shock. You bold peasant, how dare you be so rude to this grand master? Xia Beiji glared at Long Chen angrily. Do you think I care about being rude to an old pervert drowning in lust? Retorted Long Chen disdainfully. Following what Long Chen implied, the crowd turned to look at Xia Beiji. Wei Kang's hand was already all over her chest. She quickly shook off the hand and glared at Long Chen. She pointed at Long Chen angrily but merely stuttered, unable to say anything. Are all your phoenix cry noble sons this lacking in upbringing? Snorted Wei Kang coldly. Before the Empress Dowager could say anything, Yan Qi indifferently said, Long Chen is already a pill apprentice of my alchemist guild. Did you hear that old bastard? This lord is a member of the guild. But what are you? Said Long Chen. Idiot. Grand Master Wei Kang is the chairman of our Grand Xia's alchemist guild. Retorted Xia Beiji angrily. Oh, so he wasn't from here. Good. I was confused about that. Our phoenix cry land is so fertile. There's no way such a quacking old lecher could come from it. Long Chen sighed in relief. This sentence of his made everyone want to laugh. But they couldn't. But they also couldn't keep it down. So the smart ones all lowered their heads. Some people didn't react in time and actually let out a choked laugh before covering their mouth. But that was even more embarrassing for Wei Kang than if people had just outright laughed. The atmosphere of the plaza became extremely awkward. The ones who had it the worst weren't the people down below, but the princes. They couldn't laugh for fear of offending, and they also had nowhere to hide. So their attempts at stifling their laughter were the most difficult. Cough. Today is a holiday. So Grand Master Wei Kang, please come up and sit. The festivities will soon start. The Empress Dowager also had it hard. Neither side could offend the other, so they had to come to a compromise. Fine. Wei Kang graciously accepted the offer. He coldly snorted at Yan Qi before slowly walking up to his spot. Once he sat down, he icily swept his gaze over Long Chen. Was this old stick trying to intimidate him? Long Chen extended his fist towards him, his middle finger shooting up high. Everyone gasped at this act of his. Wei Kang's face immediately turned green and killing intent overflowed from him. The Empress Dowager saw this and quickly shouted, Let the festivities begin. A melodious bell rang out. The waiting people started to illuminate the lanterns, turning the plaza as bright as it was in the daytime. A string of huge lanterns appeared atop the stage. Chapter 36 The Princess's Heart Translator Born to be the huge lanterns represented eight petals. Eight maidens carefully supported them, and when the eight petals folded together, they created a massive lotus. Suddenly, the lotus bloomed and the center of the flower shook slightly. Only now did people realize that there was a beautiful woman in the center. The entire crowd cheered when she appeared. That was the Phoenix Cry Empire's first princess. Long Chen found that she really was pretty good and worthy of praise. Raising her hand, two lines of poetry appeared. The top one, the heavens protect Phoenix Cry. The bottom one, let the nation prosper, its people at peace. The entire crowd burst into cheers. Long Chen smiled slightly. Being a nation's princess was also pretty sorrowful. It was like having to live your whole life as a cricket in a jar. That was a life of hidden fighting all day and night. But thinking about himself, he had also ended up in a life like that. If you didn't suppress others, then you would simply be trampled on. Being stepped on by those above you was whatever. But more importantly, they would crush you firmly to death. Whether this had to do with enmity, right and wrong, etc. Didn't matter. Perhaps this struggle was just the most primitive of man's nature. As Long Chen was sighing over this, the second princess appeared. Due to his absent-mindedness. He ended up not catching a glimpse of her, something he regretted. But the next one was Chu Yao's lantern. He kept his eyes wide open, afraid to miss a single detail. First, a few fireworks lit up the sky, accompanied by cheering. Then immediately after, a huge dragon kite whistled through the air. At the same time, beside the huge dragon was a colorful phoenix with gorgeous wings. Golden powder sprinkled from its wings, just as if a real phoenix had descended upon the earth. Wow! How beautiful, along with the scattering powder, the dragon and phoenix shone, making it seem as if everyone had entered a world of legends. They slowly fluttered down to the earth. From the dragon's mouth came a large sphere of white light that burst open, sending streamers flying. From those ribbons, a beautiful woman dressed in ancient costume slowly appeared, shapely and leisurely, a beauty that made you never want to stop looking at her. The entire crowd erupted in acclaim when the third princess appeared. Many of the young men had heard of the third princess's beauty before, 
Hers was a beauty that could cause the downfall of an empire. Today, they finally got to see her in person, and for a moment, all that could be heard were fanatic screams. Long Chen was also struck foolish for a moment upon seeing her. This was the first time Long Chen had seen her dressed up so beautifully. Her eyes wandered over the crowd. Suddenly, her eyes brightened when she saw Long Chen, and she tossed a small ball which slowly flew out towards him. Long Chen reached out his hand to catch it and found that the ball had a small tag on it. The entire crowd immediately went silent, all of them staring at Long Chen. The Empress Dowager was also startled, but she didn't say anything. But the person whose expression was most unsightly was definitely the Grand Xia's Xia Changfang. Although he tried to appear natural and at ease, his uncontrollable anger turned his face green. The Empress Dowager had already decided to marry off Chu Yao to Xia Changfang, but her display today of the dragon and phoenix had obvious significance. Moreover, that ball was thrown directly towards Long Chen. 1. Normally, a ball didn't have any special meaning, but that was not the same when added with the display of the lanterns. It was the same exact custom as in ancient times when maidens threw embroidered balls to pick their husband. Despite doing his best to control himself, Xia Changfeng could not stop his body from trembling and his veins popping. Changfeng, endure it. Wei Kang glanced at Xia Changfeng. Don't worry Grandmaster, Changfeng will restrain himself. Xia Changfeng nodded, but his voice still trembled in a way that could not be concealed. Xia Changfeng wished for Long Chen to die more than anything right now. Long Chen also felt everyone's peculiar gazes on him. Amongst the people present, Grandmaster Yun Qi was the only one to smile slightly here. Everyone else had either complicated or jealous gazes. Long Chen looked at Chu Yao and her beautiful, leisurely smile. She gestured towards the ball in his hand. Long Chen realized that it was actually a firework, so he pulled its tag and threw it high into the sky. A gorgeous light lit up the entire plaza. When the light rays faded, two phrases appeared in the sky. The dragon swims across the four oceans. The phoenix flies throughout the nine lands. Xia Changfen was no longer able to control himself at all and ended up crushing the teacup in his hand. Long Chen, if I don't crush you into a thousand pieces, then I wouldn't be Xia Changfeng. As for you Chu Yao, I'll make you live a life worse than death, you slut. Chu Yao's actions humiliated him even more than if she had viciously slapped him in the face. The Empress Dowager's expression was also extremely ugly. She had never expected Chu Yao to actually be so bold and express affection for a man in such a public manner. Long Chen was also speechless as he looked at the distant Chu Yao. Her pretty face was completely red, but it was still filled with determination. Tears slowly flowed out when she looked at Long Chen, causing him to feel pain for her. What was she despairing of now? Was this her way of expressing herself one final time before facing death? Seeing Chu Yao's smiling face covered in tears. Long Chen's mind buzzed blankly. He suddenly stood and roared. Seas of blood may block us, but we will never give up our path. Dragon and Phoenix will both live to old age. Long Chen's angry roar rang out in every single person's ears. His roar held an incredibly resolute determination. A willpower that would rather die than submit. Chu Yao shook. Her hands covering her mouth. Her tears slowly flowing. She had not had such aspirations. She had just wanted to express her true feelings once before her doom so that Long Chen understood her heart. But wasn't Long Chen's response just now just sinking himself into her own demise? She was both moved and regretful that she had harmed him. The third princess is tired. Come and support her off the stage. The Empress Dowager was resisting her fury as best as she could. Five bodyguards came, and just as they were inviting Chu Yao to leave with them, Grandmaster Yun Qi spoke out. Empress Dowager, this isn't right. It's a good thing for young people to have emotions. Come, Chu Yao, sit beside this old man. The Empress Dowager's expression changed. Who would have imagined Grandmaster Yun Qi who never participated in worldly affairs would actually get involved in imperial matters? Chu Yao rejoiced when she heard Grandmaster Yun Qi's words. Perhaps he couldn't save her from her doom, but she did think that he was capable of protecting Long Chen. Thinking of that, she bent down to kneel in front of him, but before she could, Grandmaster Yun Qi reached out a hand, and a gentle force pulled her back up. Child, there's no need for this etiquette. He pulled Chu Yao over to his side to sit. But the strange thing in other people's eyes was that despite being at extreme odds with him, Wei Kang only looked on coldly without saying a single thing. The Empress Dowager was extremely infuriated inside, but she didn't want to offend Yun Qi over such a small matter. Without the support of the Alchemist Guild, 
then no matter how strong the royal family was, they would quickly collapse. Therefore, she could only restrain herself. But as the Empress Dowager, her thinking and schemes were profound. Her expression didn't change and she merely smiled. Then, let the festivities continue. Shi Feng finally stood up beside Long Chen. Stretching, he laughed. Looks like it's finally time for me to get on stage. In previous years, the battle between noble sons for the number one junior warrior would begin as soon as the princess's lanterns were lit. Please wait a moment, Empress Dowager. This old man came all the way over from the Grand Zaya just to attend your lantern festival, and I brought a special event just for you, said Wei Kang hurriedly. Oh, Grand Master's event will definitely be marvelous to see. The Empress Dowager paused for a moment before smiling. This is my apprentice who is only 17 this year, but she's already a true and tested pill apprentice. Wei Kang particularly emphasized true and tested. Everyone naturally looked at Long Chen. Anyone who wasn't an idiot would understand. He was making indirect accusations that Long Chen was a fake. Most people had no idea just how Long Chen's pill apprentice status had been obtained. There were many people who had doubts about his true strength. Long Chen had refined pills for others to see just once before, but that had happened internally within the guild, so the outside world still didn't know anything about it. The majority of people felt that Long Chen had just managed to sneak his way in and didn't necessarily have any true skills when it came to alchemy. Due to his old status as a cripple having hanged around him for too long and how quickly he had risen recently, many people had suspicions that he might have some sort of powerful support behind him, and that support was very likely Grandmaster Yun Qi. But no matter how amazing Grandmaster Yun Qi was, how could he turn a cripple into a pill apprentice in just a short two months? A ridiculing smile appeared on Long Chen's face when he heard this. Yun Qi also didn't say anything. Wei Kang continued, Today. Let's let my apprentice give a display of how an alchemist refines. The crowd cheered. Alchemists were extremely revered, and most of the people present had never seen the process of refining pills personally. They were filled with both great respect and curiosity towards this profession. Personally witnessing the process through which a pill was formed was definitely a great opportunity for them. But actually, this can be even more enjoyable. Beiji can represent my grand Zaya's alchemist guild. I wonder if there is anyone from the same generation within the Phoenix Cry Alchemist Guild who would like to join her. Wei Kang glanced at Grandmaster Yun Qi. She's your apprentice, but Long Chen isn't my apprentice. So your little hidden challenge doesn't mean anything, said Yun Qi indifferently. Long Chen's heart shook. Was the reason Yun Qi never took him in as an apprentice related to Wei Kang? It's just playing around. It'll also liven things up here, so it's not useless. Wei Kang then produced a see-through bottle which actually held a thumb-sized flame that was constantly burning. This beast flame comes from a second-rank magical beast, the Flame Leopard. Whoever wins will be awarded it. Zaya Beiji also looked longingly towards that beast flame. She had actually wanted it for a long time, but Wei Kang had always refused to give it to her. That beast flame also posed an extremely great temptation to Long Chen. So, kid, do you want to come up and play? Many people were shaking their heads inside at how obvious the provocation was. Wei Kang's conduct didn't suit his status as a grand master. As they suspected, Long Chen was smiling at Wei Kang in contempt. But shockingly, he still spat out a single word. Fine. Fatty Yu and the others couldn't help gasping. Brother Long, what are you doing? In front of everyone's strange gazes, Long Chen walked up to the stage and said to Xia Beichi, You heard your master. So just how should I play with you? Chapter 37 Pill Battle Translator Born to be you heard your master. So just how should I play with you? Everyone was flabbergasted at his words. Fatty you, Xiao Hao, and the other's jaws all dropped to the ground. Damn, Brother Long really is Brother Long. Just one sentence of his can choke the whole crowd. Xia Beiji's face was ashen from rage, and her eyes glared daggers at him. If looks could kill, then Long Chen would already have been turned to pulp. Grand Master Yun Qi's expression was odd and he shook his head slightly, but he was relaxed inside. Long Chen was actually helping him relieve his own anger. Was this what it meant for evil people to attract retribution? This rascal, Chu Yao's face was completely red. This Long Chen was too crude. Seeing Xia Beiji trembling from her anger, she wondered if she would even have the energy left to refine later. Kid, must you be so boorish? The old man only asked you up here for a small competition, said Wei Kang angrily. He truly wanted to give this youngster a slap on the face. I'll stop. Do I get that if I win? Long Chen pointed to the bottle in Wei Kang's hand. 
sounding a bit undetermined if he should participate. HMPH. Naturally this old man's words are true. I definitely won't renege out of this, snorted Wei Kang. Xia Beiji finally calmed herself down enough, gritting her teeth. She spat out, you must be dreaming if you think you can beat me. If you lose, I want you to kneel down and kowtow to me three times. Then, you'll crawl to me and lick my feet clean. Xia Beiji's voice shocked everyone. From her angry words, they suspected that there was a great deal of enmity between the two of them. Novaloon.com They suddenly realized that Wei Kang's arrival here was definitely not a coincidence. Apparently, it was to target Long Chen and Grandmaster Yan Qi. Xia Beiji's terms were far too malicious. No person would accept such a thing. Wei Kang had personally said that Xia Beiji was his apprentice, so her pill arts must definitely be shocking. But Long Chen's pill arts were something no one had ever seen before. Whether he could truly refine pills was still doubtful. Even if he knew how to refine pills, just how long had he known Grandmaster Yun Qi? How much could he have learned in two months? It was unlikely for him to have gained even a superficial understanding. Chu Yao's face was pale now with worry. Although she hadn't known Long Chen for long, she could sense that Long Chen's pride had seeped into his bones. Even in death, he wouldn't accept such humiliation. Long Chen, since you aren't my apprentice, you don't need to jump into this trap. Yun Qi warned him. He was very clear that Long Chen hadn't gained his inheritance. I know it's a trap, but the bait is just too tempting. Long Chen appeared unwilling to give up. His face nodded in contradiction. Fatty Yu and the others almost vomited blood. Brother Long, if you know it's a trap, then why are you accepting? Everyone's expressions were strange. Was Long Chen actually stupid? Or was he just acting stupid? He hesitated for a moment, before saying, I accept, but I have another condition. Seeing Long Chen's acceptance, Xia Beiji sneered and ridicule flashed in Wei Kang's eyes. Fine, what's your condition? If I win, I don't want to get her as a bride. With her relations with you, I'd be afraid of getting a disease, said Long Chen. Long Chen, I'll kill you. Xia Beiji's rage was exploding. Her originally pretty features were completely twisted into an extremely frightful visage. Long Chen, Wei Kang was clenching his fists tightly, the veins on his forehead bulging. Despite being calm all the way until now, he actually started to tremble in fury. Old fellow, you didn't get a blood clot in your head, did you? Asked Long Chen worriedly. Wei Kang was a monster who had lived for who knew how many years. His restraint exceeded Long Chen's expectations, and he actually quickly suppressed his anger with a snort. This pill battle will be decided with the blood condensing pill. The medicinal ingredients must be prepared on your own, and you can have at most three portions. We'll start in 15 minutes after stating the rules. He returned to his seat. He had actually become a bit afraid of Long Chen. That bastard's ability to anger people was definitely heaven defying. He was actually afraid of losing his control and slaughtering him in his fury. Xia Beiji's medicinal ingredients had naturally already been prepared by Wei Kang. As for Long Chen, he could only rely on Grandmaster Yun Qi. This time, Wei Kang was using Xia Beiji to disgrace Long Chen and also Yun Qi. Yun Qi would definitely not look on without lifting a finger. Grandmaster, can you please lend me the medicinal ingredients? Long Chen spread his hands. Long Chen, you have to think about this carefully, warned Grandmaster Yun Qi solemnly. Grandmaster, I did this all for myself. Don't worry, I am sure of myself, said Long Chen. Then, fine, although he had some concerns. Seeing how determined Long Chen was, he merely nodded. He had a pill apprentice go back to the guild to get the medicinal ingredients. The blood condensing pill was a second tier medicinal pill. It was a precious pill for blood condensation experts that allowed them to break through the minor levels and was very expensive. The ingredients to refine it weren't particularly rare. The most expensive main ingredient of it was the blood spirit fruit. The pill's quality was mostly dependent on the purifying of the blood spirit fruit. It had a great deal of impurities within and purifying it was difficult. If the flame's temperature increased just slightly, then it would immediately burn into ashes. But if the flame wasn't strong enough, then the impurities wouldn't be separated out, which had a huge effect on the pill's quality. It could be said that the blood condensing pill was extremely difficult to refine, even amongst second-tier pills. Moreover, refining in front of a crowd was even more troublesome. Although three sets of medicinal ingredients sounded like three chances, it was still extremely risky for a pill with as high a failure rate as the blood condensing pill. Both parties finished preparing very quickly. Two small refining stages were set up at Op the Martial Arena. 
The whole crowd would be able to see both of them very clearly as they refined. Let the competition begin. You both get two hours. After two hours, whoever has refined the higher quality blood condensing pill will be the winner. With the start of the competition, Long Chen and Xia Beiji both walked to their respective stages and placed their medicinal ingredients on top of it. Long Chen suddenly blinked. A very conspicuous plump fruit was sitting on her pill stage. A blood spirit fruit that's over a hundred years old. Long Chen was startled. It appeared Xia Beiji had truly come prepared. Two of his blood spirit fruits were only 30 years old, and the best one he had available was only 50 years old. HMPH. It's already been said that the medicinal ingredients would be prepared by yourself. You can only blame your guild for being too poor. Xia Beiji coldly laughed at him when she saw him looking over. Grandmaster Yun Qi's expression sunk slightly. Even after all these years, you still use these underhand methods. Grandmaster Yun Qi's words weren't targeted to anyone in particular, almost as if he was speaking to himself. But Wei Kang still coldly laughed. The winner is the king while the loser is nothing. All I care about are the final results. It was you guys who were careless. Who else can you blame? Grandmaster, did they mess around with the ingredients? Although Chu Yao couldn't tell the age of the blood spirit fruits, she still caught on to a couple of clues from their exchange. Yun Qi nodded. Their blood spirit fruits are all over 300 years old. The essence refined from them will be extremely pure which will definitely increase the refined pill's quality. Then isn't that very disadvantageous for Long Chen? Asked Chu Yao worriedly. Their opponents were already ahead before the refinement even began. Chu Yao couldn't help being worried. Grandmaster Yun Qi sighed. It's my fault. I underestimated how thick Wei Kang's skin was. For a moment, the entire crowd was restless. Grandmaster Yun Qi's words weren't quiet, and the people nearby all heard it clearly. But Grandmaster Wei Kang also wasn't wrong. The ingredients were self-supplied, so it was their own fault. Do you guys think Brother Long will be okay? Asked Xiao Hao worriedly. What a joke. Who do you think Brother Long is? Just watch and see. Fatty Yu was actually filled with confidence. Long Chen saw that Xia Beiji was already busy with her own refining. However, he was just standing there, not preparing his ingredients nor warming up the cauldron. HMPH, have you given up? Just wait to lick my toes. Seeing Long Chen was completely motionless. She thought Long Chen had been too intimidated to continue. She raised her hand, and a pale yellow flame puffed into existence. Although Xia Beiji definitely didn't get a high ranking on the scale of personality. Her pill flame's quality was actually quite high. She was definitely at the peak of all pill apprentices. It was no wonder she was so confident and dared to throw out such a bait. However, Long Chen had already been attracted by that bait. That flame leopard's beast flame wasn't particularly high ranking in terms of beast flames, but it was at least 10 times better than his current pill flame. If he could refine that flame leopard's beast flame, then it would be of definite assistance to him he would be able to refine the top-grade star-fusing pill that Chu Yao was in dire need of. That was because the foreign energies in her body had been there for too long. It was as if a seed had already sprouted into a huge tree. It required the top-grade star-fusing pill in order to completely refine those energies. This was something Long Chen was very aware of. That was also why he had accepted this pill battle despite knowing it was a trap. It was as he had said. The bait was just too enticing. Xia Beiji's movements were very smooth and fluid as she finished warming up her cauldron. Each step was completed without the slightest hesitation. Wei Kang smiled and stroked his beard, his eyes filled with confidence. Beiji is worth cultivating. If she can refine a blood condensing pill today that isn't too low in quality, then she can be promoted to pill adept. The blood condensing pill was one of the requirements to be promoted to pill adept. If she could refine it in front of this many people then it would express to everyone here that Xia Beiji could advance in ranks. This is all due to Grandmaster's training. Grandmaster has just arrived and must be tired. Changfeng has already found a place for you to rest, said Xia Changfeng. After saying that, he whispered in a voice that only the two of them could hear. Changfeng has also found two beautiful twin sisters for Grandmaster that haven't been broken in yet. The solemn Wei Kang immediately lit up at that, but he quickly suppressed it. In a normal voice, he said. I just need to randomly rest a bit. There's no need for such a thing. I know Grandmaster doesn't want such a thing. But wouldn't it be nice of you to let the people who worship you to have such a chance? Smiled Xia Changfang. But inside he was cursing. You old lecher. Your lust is something everyone under the heavens knows about. Yet you still put on such a fake act. Haha. <laughs> J 
Just let someone set that up. My heart's not up to such a thing, said Wei Kang. Your heart's not up to such a thing? Of course not, because you'd rather force yourself on them. Xia Changfeng muttered inside for a while when his expression suddenly went rigid as he noticed Xia Beiji had begun to refine the blood spirit fruit. The success of the blood condensing pill was largely related to the blood spirit fruit. If you could extract the pure essence out, then it would increase the probability of success greatly. Xia Beiji carefully placed the blood spirit fruit inside her cauldron and slowly increased the pill flame's temperature. In truth, this was the first time she had refined such an aged blood spirit fruit so she didn't dare to be careless. A-H-H. -H. Hey. A-H-H. -H. What shocked everyone was that at such a crucial moment when the entire plaza was silent, Long Chen suddenly started to yell and shout. Bang. Xia Beiji's hand shook and her pill flame sharply increased, causing that blood spirit fruit to immediately turn to ashes. The entire plaza turned deathly silent as they gazed in shock at Long Chen. Chapter 38 Lu's Translator Born to be Bang. Long Chen a furious scream pierced through everyone's ears. It sounded like an evil ghoul was demanding for their lives, causing everyone's hair to stand on end. That sound had come from Xia Beiji's mouth. She was exceptionally malevolent and sinister now. Her face twisted as she glared at Long Chen. That had been the critical moment in the refinement of the blood spirit fruit. She had been trying to find the perfect temperature to purify it. But with Long Chen's shocking cries, her flame had burst out of her control. By the time she managed to put it back under her control, it was too already late, and an extremely precious 300-year-old blood spirit fruit had turned to ashes just like that. Her heart dripped blood. Haha, <laughs> my bad. My habit is to warm up my throat before refining pills. I was afraid to scare you, so I shouted several times to tell you that I was about to start refining. Truly unfortunate. Long Chen acted completely apologetic. It was intentional. So intentional. Even a blind person could tell. Xia Beiji was practically spitting flames from her eyes. But she had no way to contradict Long Chen. There was no rule which said that the opponent couldn't make noise. This time, she had suffered a great loss. Focus. Wei Kang coldly shouted. And only then did Xia Beiji slowly suppress her anger. If she didn't calm herself, she might really lose. I'm very focused. No need to worry about it. Replied Long Chen coldly. Idiot sister. You should continue refining. Next time, I'll do my best to keep my voice down for you. All right. 1. Xia Beiji no longer bothered with Long Chen. With an ashen expression, she took out her second set of medicinal ingredients from her spatial ring. She then plugged her ears so that she wouldn't have to worry about Long Chen scaring her again. What caused him to be speechless was that she actually took out a second extremely aged blood spirit fruit. Her many preparations truly caused Long Chen to be depressed. And since she was already on guard against him, it would be difficult to make her fail again. He could only resign himself to his bad luck. Long Chen raised his hand and a yellow flame soared into existence. What caused Wei Kang's pupils to shrink was that Long Chen's flame was actually not that much weaker than Xia Beiji's. Grandmaster Yun Qi was also slightly startled when he saw Long Chen's pill flame. That pill flame was several times stronger than from the last time he had seen him refining pills. Haha, <laughs> just like I said. Brother Long definitely won't have any troubles. See, he also has a flame in his hand. Fatty Yu was very pleased with himself. Even for them, it was their first time seeing Long Chen condensing a pill flame. They became much more at ease. This meant that Long Chen was a true pill apprentice. His pill flame startled many people. Although they had been told of his identity as a pill apprentice, they had still doubted it. Seeing his pill flame in person put out many of those doubts. Could he really have become a pill apprentice in just two months without any previous foundation? They were filled with veneration as they looked at the settled and stable grandmaster Yun Qi. Yun Qi bitterly laughed inside. Only he himself knew that Long Chen's pill refining arts weren't taught by him. It seemed that Long Chen had many secrets surrounding him. Chu Yao watched as Long Chen condensed his pill flame. After stabilizing the flame, he started to warm up the cauldron. His movements were very at ease and his expression was calm letting her extremely nervous heart relax quite a bit. Xia Beiji had once more steadied herself and was steadily purifying her blood spirit fruit. Long Chen had an urge to shout out to her once more, but thinking about how low his chance of success would be this time, plus the shaming ridicule from others, he decided to give that up and start refining his own blood spirit fruit. His blood spirit fruit was only at the size of a longan and much inferior compared to the fist-sized 300-year-old blood spirit fruits of Xia Beiji's. Not only was the size different, 
but the purity of the essence within was much inferior. It could be said that Long Chen was behind before the competition had even started. This was definitely unfair. He could only do his best to discard the impurities within his blood spirit fruit. In terms of final pill quality, he was already a step behind. He would have to make up for it in other areas. Suddenly, his flame exploded in strength. His pill flame filled the entire pill furnace and the terrifying flame gave everyone a scorching feeling Novaloon.com What a powerful spiritual strength. Even Wei Kang was surprised. Long Chen was using his spiritual strength as the fuel for his pill flame and had even split a portion of it to protect the blood spirit fruit's essence so that it wouldn't be lost. This kind of technique was extremely wild. But after he recovered from his surprise, he sneered. It was true that his spiritual strength was very powerful, but his blood spirit fruit was less than 50 years old. So how could he compare to the one that was over a hundred years old? Moreover, that was a 300-year-old fruit. Wasting this much spiritual strength at the early stage meant that he wouldn't have enough spiritual strength to seal the pill at the critical moment of pill condensation. This was a path of failure in Wei Kang's eyes. This was clearly not an expert's way of refining. Only Grandmaster Yun Qi wasn't surprised by Long Chen's action. He couldn't help lamenting at such a luxurious method though. Only Long Chen had the qualifications to use such a technique with his outrageously enormous spiritual strength. Within Long Chen Cauldron was a pile of red powder which he took out. The powder was very red and didn't have many spots within it, letting him relax a bit. Those spots were impurities, but with his current flame strength, it was impossible to completely purify them. This was already the best he could do. Looking at Xia Beiji's side, he saw that after she had plugged her ears, she had managed to completely ignore the rest of the world and was very efficient. There was also a pile of red powder beside her. That was the blood spirit fruit's medicinal essence. What caused Long Chen's eyes to shrink was that the 300-year-old blood spirit fruit was truly different from his. That powder was much brighter than his and had even less impurities. He couldn't help but frown. No matter how great the refining techniques he had, he didn't dare display any of them. If that scoundrel Wei Kang noticed it, he would find it very fishy. Right now, he had to take things one step at a time. If he really couldn't win normally, then he would throw caution to the wind and take some drastic measures. In any case, he definitely wouldn't lose. Refining herb after herb, he realized that over half the time had passed. As for Xia Beichi, she had already sealed her furnace and begun refining the pill. After sealing the furnace, it meant it was already finalized. Other than the final moment of condensing the pill, there were no other steps that were likely to fail. Long Chen. Time's almost up. I really am looking forward to the time when you kneel in front of me. Xia Beichi had already taken out her earplugs and was coldly sneering at Long Chen. Her sealed furnace only had to maintain a stable pill flame. In order to repay her grievance against him, she started to attempt disturbing him. I'm begging you. Shut your mouth. The crap you spout will affect the quality of the air, said Long Chen. You. Xia Beichi's anger caused her pill flame to jump ever so slightly, scaring her and forcing her to calm herself down. She didn't dare speak again and even once more put on her earplugs. She realized that in a battle of words, even 10,000 of her weren't an equal to Long Chen. Right now, she focused all her energy on the pill. She looked forward to the moment when Long Chen would be humiliated in front of her. Long Chen also sealed his furnace a short time later. The two of them were both urging their pill flames to increase the speed of forming the medicinal pill. Bang. A quarter hour later, Xia Beichi's pill furnace started to boom. The originally silent plaza immediately became excited. Even though they hadn't seen pills being refined before, they had all heard that when the pill was formed, strange events would occur with the pill furnace. This was clearly an omen of the pill forming. The sound became louder and louder, and the furnace started to shake violently. With a cold shout, Xia Beichi slapped her hands onto her pill furnace, her spiritual strength pouring in. Boom. A huge explosion rang out and then the pill furnace became completely silent. Xia Beichi was unable to suppress her own excitement. With her rich pill refining experience, she was 90% sure that she had successfully refined it despite being a bit nervous inside. Slowly reaching her hand into the furnace, a dense pill fragrance swept out and quickly spread throughout the plaza. What a dense fragrance. Many people were surprised, and Wei Kang was very pleased. Even without looking, he could tell that she had succeeded just from this fragrance. Ha 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 ha. Xia Beichi took out a round medicinal pill. Her face was filled with feverish excitement. But due to her being too excited, her laugh sounded coarse and hard to listen to. Who stepped on your neck? 
Long Chen glanced at Xia Beiji and asked with great concern. Although she knew he was ridiculing her, she didn't care. She coldly glared at him. Kid, I'm waiting for you to kowtow to me. Haha. <laughs> Long Chen shook his head a couple of times and no longer said anything. But he really was alarmed inside. This crazy woman's luck truly was too good. She had actually refined a middle grade blood condensing pill. It was no wonder she had laughed so wildly. There was an extremely faint pill line on her pill. And although it was extremely faint, there was no doubt that it was a pill line. With Xia Beiji's ability, the probability of her refining such a middle grade medicinal pill was definitely not over 1%. Did the heavens favor idiots? Long Chen couldn't help but curse inside. If it continued like this, then he really might lose. No, he had to think of a method. At this time, Long Chen's pill furnace was also starting to shake, meaning that his pill was also on the verge of forming. He had reached the most critical moment. Crap, I must win. Long Chen took a deep breath. In front of everyone's shocked eyes, he slapped his hand at up the pill furnace and opened the lid slightly. What? Yun Qi was completely shocked. At this critical moment when the pill was forming, you absolutely could not open the furnace's lid. Otherwise, the medicinal nature inside would be lost. Even Wei Kang was shocked. Long Chen's actions were completely out of the ordinary for refining pills, but he appeared completely serious and it didn't seem as if he was giving up. At the same time as he opened the lid, Long Chen's spiritual strength started to wildly circulate and tightly locked in the medicinal nature within the pill furnace. Boom boom boom. The pill furnace was continuously emitting explosive sounds and sweat poured down on Long Chen's face. The medicinal pill within the furnace was acting like a struggling wild bull. Long Chen used his spiritual strength to seal it, but the amount of spiritual strength being used was completely shocking. Crap, I'm almost out of spiritual strength. Long Chen suddenly felt a burst of fatigue. He shouted out, madly sending his spiritual strength out. Boom. The entire martial arena shook along with the pill furnace. Long Chen closed and tightly pressed down on the furnace's lid. Only when the pill furnace became still did Long Chen finally relax. His whole body was drenched in sweat. The amount of energy he had used just now had been too great. Slowly opening the lid, the pill fragrance floated out. Looking at the medicinal pill within the furnace, Long Chen's expression suddenly changed. Chapter 39 Obtaining the Beast Flame Translator Born to be seeing Long Chen's expression change so suddenly, Chu Yao's heart sunk. Shi Fang, Fatty Yu, and the others were also scared. The cost of him losing was far too great. It was something hard to take even in death. But Xia Changfen coldly smiled inside when he saw Long Chen's expression. Haha, <laughs> Long Chen, what are you waiting for? Why aren't you coming over to Kowtow yet? Xia Beiji sneered at Long Chen, seeming extremely pleased with herself. Being able to humiliate Long Chen was practically better than being promoted to pill adept for her. Her body couldn't help starting to shiver in anticipation. Long Chen's face was extremely grave as he slowly took out a medicinal pill from the pill furnace. He regretfully said, I wanted to be low-key, but the heavens wouldn't let me. Only now did everyone see that Long Chen actually did have a round medicinal pill in his hand. They cursed at him for acting so dejected. That scoundrel, Chu Yao was both surprised and delighted. She really had been scared witless for a moment back then. Heavens, I think I really might die. If it continues like this, then my heart won't be able to take it. Fatty Yu collapsed to the ground helplessly. Only at this time did people realize that Long Chen had put up an act. This was especially true for Xia Beiji who felt as if she had been given a slap on the face. Long Chen, you dare to play me, raged Xia Beiji. It's just taking people for a little spin. So why are you so serious? Long Chen said randomly. HMPH, Long Chen, even if you did refine the blood condensing pill, you'll still lose. That pill you refined is just low grade, while mine is middle grade. Xia Beiji raised her hand, showing off the pill line. All the nearby people could see it extremely clearly. Sister Beiji, you really are talented. You can already refine a middle grade second tier medicinal pill at such a young age. It really does make people admire you, exclaimed the crown prince Chu Yang. A pill adept this young was rarely seen, may be seen only once every few decades. Such talent could definitely go far on the pill path. Seeing her ridiculing face, Long Chen indifferently said, Who won and who lost isn't something decided by you. Are you trying to quibble? My medicinal pill has a pill line, and yours doesn't. Are you unable to see such an obvious difference? Sneered Xia Beiji. You're absolutely right that yours is a middle grade medicinal pill, but the pill in my hand is also middle grade. Long Chen raised the pill in his hand, 
for Long Chen to put it like this shocked everyone. But after carefully examining it, it seemed as if the pill in his hand was absolutely ordinary. Although it was plump and round, there were no pill lines. Middle grade medicinal pill? HMPH. How come I can't tell? Sneered Ziabechi. I really do sympathize with you. So young, but your eyes are so blind. Who said that middle grade medicinal pills had to have pill lines? Sighed Long Chen. Wei Kang's expression changed slightly at that. Shock appeared in his eyes and he stared fixedly at the medicinal pill in Long Chen's hand. Just now, he had felt that the pill was a bit strange. From what Long Chen said, he then thought of what he had done before forming the pill and immediately became a bit bewildered. Bring out the pill appraisal device. Following Grandmaster Yun Qi's instructions, a pill apprentice respectfully brought over a large apparatus. It looked like a table and had a notch at the center for placing the medicinal pill. It had the best accuracy for appraising a medicinal pill's grade. 60% essence. Miss Beichi's medicinal pill meets the demands for a middle grade medicinal pill. The pill apprentice read out the device's reading. If the essence constituted 50% of the pill, then it would count as low grade. 60% would make it middle grade. Zaya Beichi's blood condensing pill had just barely made the grade. Long Chen, I truly want to know just what's so special about your middle grade medicinal pill. Zaya Beichi took back her pill and sneered at Long Chen. She didn't believe that Long Chen's medicinal pill had truly reached the middle grade. Since there weren't any pill lines, who was he even trying to trick? This was just a final struggle. Then, have a good look. Long Chen laughed and handed his medicinal pill to the pill apprentice. Any medicinal pills that were just refined would have a thin pill membrane covering it for six hours that could not be faked. 63% essence. Mr. Long Chen's medicinal pill meets the demands for a middle grade medicinal pill. The pill apprentice read out the new reading. What? Zaya Beichi was stupefied to the point that even the pill in her hand dropped to the ground. Her head completely blank. She had lost. It wasn't just her. Everyone else was also shocked. Especially Wei Kang. Reading the number on the device. His face turned completely ashen. Everything that had happened during the refining had been observed by him. So it was definitely no fake. Long Chen had actually refined a middle grade pill without any pill lines. Usually. The medicinal grade of the pill was determined during the refining process. That was why Wei Kang had given Xia Beichi those 300-year-old blood spirit fruits. It could be said that she had been set in an invincible position. Otherwise, he wouldn't have acted so grandly and used the flame leopard's beast flame as a prize. But now Xia Beichi had lost. No way, you despicable bastard. Long Chen, you definitely gave us a fake. You bought off the appraiser. I'll kill you. Zaya Beichi suddenly shouted accusations and charged at him like a madwoman. Long Chen loathed to deal with her. As long as she came over, he would send her flying with a single kick. Beichi, stop. Don't make a scene. Wei Kang grabbed her and sternly warned her. He understood that their scheme today had ended in a complete and unexpected failure. If he reneged on his words in front of this many people, he really would have no more face. So he had no choice but to stop her. Bei Ziyichi struggled wildly in Wei Kang's grasp. She shouted, you old lecher, what did you say yesterday when you played with me on the bed? Didn't you say the flame leopard's beast flame would definitely belong to me? Give it to me, she mournfully shouted, her voice echoing throughout the plaza such that every single person heard it. Quite a few people shook their heads. This way Kang truly was trashed despite his grandmaster status. Before, it was just a rumor about his lecherousness. But now with Zia Beichi's words, there were none who didn't look down on him. Wei Kang turned purple with rage and slapped Zaya Beichi dizzy. Beichi has become too upset and started to babble nonsense. Take her down. After Zaya Beichi was brought down, the entire plaza was silent. Long Chen glanced at Wei Kang and reached out his hand. Hand it over. Wei Kang's face was extremely unsightly, and his heart was bleeding. This flame leopard beast flame was extremely precious, and he really had prepared to leave it for Zaya Beichi. But he hadn't expected that his attempt to get an advantage over Yun Qi would end up making him suffer a huge loss. Instead of making Yun Qi lose face, he ended up losing his own precious treasure. But in front of this many people, he truly didn't have the face to renege. Take it. Long Chen took the bottle. Inside, he saw a pulsing ball of flame and couldn't restrain from exclaiming in joy. Haha, <laughs> thanks. This was the first time Long Chen felt that this old man was not bad. Can you tell me how you did this? Wei Kang was unwilling inside. This time he had truly suffered a loss. Long Chen hesitated for a moment, but seeing Grandmaster Yun Qi also sent him an encouraging gaze. He smiled. Due to my respect for your age, 
I'll tell you, this is a secret art for refining pills. I saw it in Kagu's recordings which included this technique. When the pill is about to form, make a small opening and use one portion of spiritual strength to lock in the medicinal nature and another portion to expel the impurities. This allows you to purify it twice. Now, do you understand? Kagu's recordings? Could you mean the pill King Kagu? Wei Kang was startled. I don't know. In any case, I saw it in a book. Find it for yourself. Long Chen shook his head. He wasn't telling the whole truth. In order to not draw any suspicions, he had gone through many of the techniques recorded within the guild. Within them, there was truly the technique he had described. But Long Chen's technique wasn't exactly the same. That technique said to make just one opening. But Long Chen had made two opening. One opening was used to expel impurities, while the other was used to absorb heaven and earth's spiritual energy. Otherwise, the spiritual key within the cauldron would be insufficient for the pill to condense. If only one opening was used, then the spiritual key would only go out and not in. No matter how powerful your spiritual strength was, you would never be able to form the pill in the end and would end up with a pile of medicinal ashes. Long Chen walked towards Grand Master Yun Qi and bowed. Yun Qi nodded. Long Chen's display today had completely surpassed his expectations. At the same time, he admired Long Chen's courage that allowed him to dare to gamble despite such risks. Now that Long Chen had a beast flame, his pill flame would become at least 10 times stronger once he refined it. With a powerful pill flame as support and supplemented with his powerful spiritual strength, Long Chen's alchemy path would be completely flat and easy for him to tread upon. Long Chen walked to Chu Yao, looking at her charming face. He almost couldn't help but sink himself into her bosom. Their display today had broken through any previous barriers between them, and their two hearts were much closer. I will definitely accomplish what I promised you. Believe me, said Long Chen quietly. Chu Yao cutely nodded. Seeing his determination, she was filled with warmth and felt as if she was no longer alone. Long Chen bowed slightly to the Empress Dowager before walking down the martial arena and returned to his own spot. He attracted everyone's gaze as he walked. The women especially had shining eyes. Long Chen's display was coarse and wild. Moreover, he actually cursed right in front of Grandmaster Wei Kang. This was both fresh and stimulating to them. Then at up the refining stage, he had displayed that easy and calm refining technique of his. He had been completely unrestrained and had managed to counterattack beautifully at the last moment. Such a person was someone they had never met before. He was completely novel. When Long Chen walked past them, Many of the daring ones even tried to entice him. Once he sat down, Fatty Yu and the others all burst with excitement. Brother Long, you really are too strong. Haha, <laughs> now that I've obtained a beast flame, I guarantee that I will let you guys ascend to the blood condensation realm. Seeing their concern for him, Long Chen's heart was moved. Although he had been at up the stage, he had seen everything occurring below the stage. So, all their emotions for him were something he had seen. Fatty Yu and the others didn't have high cultivation basis. The stronger Long Chen became, the more assistance he would be able to offer them. When Long Chen had been down, these people had always stayed with him. This feeling was very precious to Long Chen. Just as they were talking, a burst of cheers suddenly rang out, and Long Chen and the others were roused. Shi Feng laughed. The real party has started. Chapter 41 Chang's Challenge Translator Born to be Long Chen raised his head to look and saw a powerful youth standing atop the center of the martial arena. He was cupping his fist in all directions. Long Chen didn't recognize this young man, but as soon as he had stepped on the stage, the crowd had cheered. It seemed he was somewhat famous in the capital. At this time, Long Chen noticed that, even outside the plaza, there were countless people. Back before the lanterns were lit, there had been an area reserved only for the nobility, but now it was open to everyone. There were no restrictions on status for the battle over the number one junior warrior. Looking at where the Empress Dowager was watching the battles, he noticed that there were now many more people over there as well. Amongst them was the savage Marquis. Those people tended to be on the older side, but their bodies were still surging with strength. They were blood condensation cultivators and a faint murderous aura came from their bodies. They were clearly true experts. Long Chen was sizing those people up when another burst of cheering rang out. A man jumped up tens of meters and lightly landed on the martial arena, his figure appearing extremely at ease and confident. So it's Fen Yang. Shi Fen was somewhat amazed when he saw that person. What? Do you know him? Asked Long Chen. Yup. He's the same age as me. He joined the army two years ago. At that time, he was just at the third vestige of key condensation. 
but now he's at the 8th heaven stage. To jump 5 minor realms in just a short 2 years truly was shocking to people. It's not surprising. After joining the army, he must have gone through several missions and survived many life and death situations. This kind of speed is normal under those circumstances. Long Chen nodded. This Fen Yang is really not bad. Although his cultivation base isn't high, that trace of murderous aura on his body isn't something these people who grew up coddled can handle. While Long Chen and Shi Fen were talking, Fen Yang had already taken action and it truly was just as Long Chen said it would be. Although the person who had come up ahead of him looked strong and had a similar cultivation base with Fen Yang, his true combat ability was a far cry from Fen Yang's, and he was defeated in less than 10 exchanges. On the martial path, just having a higher cultivation base doesn't mean you have a higher combat ability. Sometimes, just an unstoppable, imposing manner will make the opponent lose confidence and become afraid of you. This will lead to their battle strength going down. That's why, the further you walk along the martial path, the more you require a strong martial heart, that will allow you to overcome your obstacles and be undaunted by setbacks. Long Chen patted Shi Feng's shoulder. I know, I can die, but I cannot surrender. Shi Feng nodded. Long Chen smiled. Shi Feng's talent was limited, and his cultivation path would be rough. But if he kept a steadfast heart, he really might be able to pull off a miracle one day. Fen Yang consecutively beat three strong opponents before finally ended up being exhausted. In the end, he was sent flying by someone and had no choice but to concede. I'm going up now. Oh, this early? Are you able to handle it? Long Chen was a bit flabbergasted. I consider this contest a kind of training for myself. The results aren't important. Instead, I need to firm my martial heart. Smiled Shi Feng. Nice, brother Shi. We'll all be rooting for you from here. Fatty Yu was especially excited, and the rest of them all wanted to see Shi Feng win. You got this. Long Chen patted his shoulders. Shi Feng has come to ask advice. Following Shi Feng's shout, it was like thunder had clapped through the plaza, and the entire crowd emitted a huge cheer. Obviously, Shi Feng was pretty famous within the younger generation of the capital. Fatty Yu and the others' yells were drowned out by a flood of cheering. It was so loud that they couldn't even hear their own voices. They looked at each other in dismay and awkwardness. Shi Feng's face was dark and reserved. As he stood atop the stage, he gave people a sensation of being a large mountain that no man could shake. He was fighting a ninth heaven stage key condensation expert. But when that person saw Shi Feng, he immediately turned into a statue. Come at me. I'll only use the power of the ninth heaven stage of key condensation. Shi Feng smiled slightly. That person naturally couldn't help but to become angry at that provocation. Everyone was watching them, which put him on the spot. HMPH, who asked for your help? That person stamped on the ground and a punch came smashing towards Shi Feng. But Shi Feng didn't even deign to look at it. Isn't this Shi Feng too arrogant? Just as people thought Shi Feng had a huge ego, that person suddenly sent out a second punch towards his lower abdomen. The first one had actually just been a feint. A large palm met that punch. Shi Feng grabbed onto that person's fist and started to apply some force. Time for you to go. That person let out a startled cry as his body flew a dozen meters through the air. Eventually, he fell flat on his face. After landing, he spat out some dirt and cursed a couple of times. He turned to leave, deciding to not even look at the rest of the battles. Brother she is formidable. Fatty you and the others took advantage of this moment to shout out this slogan. Following their shout, the crowd loudly cheered. These cheers contained countless young maidens' cries as well. Long Chen smiled. No wonder so many people wanted to go up to fight. This was the best way for men to attract women. Suddenly, Long Chen sensed a gaze coming at him from the seats above. Looking up, he saw that Chu Yao was staring at him. He smiled and winked at her, causing her to immediately turn red and quickly lower her head. But joy filled her eyes. However, neither Long Chen nor Chu Yao noticed that these small movements of theirs had been noticed by another person. Xia Chang Feng's face was ashen and he suddenly whispered to a person beside him. How was your scouting? Did you find his bottom line? Your servant tested him. His cultivation base is extremely strange, and his true level could not be found. However, in terms of combat ability, he does not surpass early blood condensation, whispered that person. If Long Chen were there, he would have immediately recognized this person's voice as being the person who had fake attempted to assassinate him. HMPH, that's good. Wang Chang. You must kill him today. Do your best not to disclose too much of your hidden strength. Ordered Xia Chang Feng coldly. 
This Wang Chen was one of his bodyguards, the man with the scar on his face. Wang Chen cruelly smiled. Don't worry master, he definitely won't survive the night. Bang. It went without saying that Shi Fen who had reached the blood condensation realm was unstoppable. He defeated 18 people in a row, filling the crowd with excitement. The last two people were also blood condensation experts, but in terms of combat strength, they were quite a bit weaker than him. After all, Shi Fen had received Long Chen's assistance when breaking through to blood condensation, so his foundation was much firmer than the others, giving him a great advantage. After defeating the last blood condensation expert, Shi Fen called out three times, but no one else came up. According to the rules of the competition, the title of the Phoenix Cry's number one junior warrior had already landed within Shi Feng's lap. Under the enthusiastic cries of the entire crowd, Shi Feng walked over to the Empress Dowager and kneeled. The Empress Dowager bestowed upon him a jade medal and gave him a few encouraging words. When he returned back down to the martial stage, the crowd became even more impassioned, and countless maidens surged over there, throwing flower loops over to Shi Feng's neck. Each of those flower loops had been personally made by those maidens. It was a token for the man they admired. If that man picked it up, then it meant that the man accepted the maiden's heart. Each flower loop had the maiden's name sewn onto it, so the man could easily figure out whose it was. The stronger a man was within the Phoenix Cry Empire, the more wives and concubines he would have. So rather than being the sole wife of a mediocre man, a great deal of maidens would prefer to marry a strong man who had many wives. When Shi Feng returned, his body was covered with flower loops and only his head could be seen. He could barely see where he was going. Haha, <laughs> congratulations Shi Fang. Long Chen couldn't help laughing at that comical sight. This time you've struck rich Shi Fang. Xiao Hao was filled with admiration. HMPH, what riches. Shi Fang isn't some peddler. But brother Shi, make sure to get your affairs in order when you go back. No matter what, you have to pick a couple of good wives. Laughed Fatty Yu. By giving those flower loops to him, those maidens had all expressed their willingness to marry him. As long as he assented and gave them a betrothal gift, they could immediately proceed to the wedding. It was extremely convenient. Shi Feng turned red and said, I was only able to do this because of Long Chen's assistance. How about we split these flower loops between us? Everyone choked when they heard that. Only Shi Feng would think of trying to divvy up such a thing. Seeing everyone laugh, Shi Feng also realized what he had said. He played dumb, causing people to laugh even harder. Normally, this would signify the end of the Lantern Festival. But just as people were preparing to leave, Xia Changfeng suddenly laughed. That battle just now truly was marvelous. But I still feel as if we haven't had our fill yet. I have a suggestion, but I don't know whether it's appropriate. The Empress Dowager frowned slightly. Too many things had occurred today, and she didn't want to deal with anything else. But Xia Changfeng was a guest. So the Empress Dowager could not easily contradict him. You can say what you want Prince Xia. In order to add more fun, I'll also send a youngster from my side to exchange blows with your Phoenix Cry's top talent. Let's compare and see which one is stronger. Laughed Xia Changfeng. Before the Empress Dowager could say anything, Wei Kang interrupted. The Grand Xia and the Phoenix Cry Empire are like a family. And it's just a friendly competition. I doubt the Empress Dowager would refuse. The Empress Dowager only sighed in anger. They were clearly using their words to trap her. If she didn't agree, that would offend Wei Kang. Then, we'll listen to Grand Master, so we can see the grace of the Grand Xia's men. But I still don't know who is going on to the stage. Wang Chang, you go. Remember to go easy and not ruin our friendship. Xia Changfen waved his hand. Yes, Wang Cheng stepped lightly on the ground, and he shot through the air like a huge bird, gently landing on the stage. Grand Xia's Wang Cheng inviting any Phoenix Cry geniuses to exchange pointers. Wang Cheng cupped his hands. Is this a mistake? You already look so old, yet you act like a youth? Isn't your skin a bit too thick? Long Chen fed some words to Xiao Hao who shouted them out. Wang Cheng smiled. I'm only 19 this year. I have official documents that confirm this, and everyone from the Grand Xia knows this. The crowd relaxed at his words. Some people simply did age a bit faster. Young Master Long. I've heard rumors of your strength since arriving at the capital. I truly admire you. Do I have the qualifications to swap pointers with the young master? Wang Chen cupped his hands towards Long Chen. Everyone's gaze lit up at his words, and the crowd immediately began to cheer. Long Chen, Long Chen, Long Chen. Their shouts were surging waves that completely impassioned everyone's blood. 
and countless fervent glances landed on Long Chen.